Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Platinum adventure. Last time, we went and we beat the, I believe it's pronounced Ouroboros, Jim? Or is it Ouroboros? Language is hard. But we got the first gem. The Cranidos was evil and beat us very much to pulp, but we eventually beat him. And, yeah, we're just going to continue. Ooh, February 14th, Wednesday. Started from Twinleaf Town. Got through Orberg Mine. Got through Orberg Mine again. Beat Orberg's Jim's Rourke. Departed from Mining Museum. Defeated a female Geodude. And beat Darius at Orberg City. I wonder who... <laughs> who was Darius? <laughs> who was Darius? I'm just watching a film. It's been a long time since I've watched a movie. Just straight up. I think it was like the last one I watched was like Into the Spider-Verse. I really should try and actually sit down, watch movies, actually relax. But brain is instead, ah, you're not doing things. So instead I just don't relax. But still don't do anything, procrastinate, and feel terrible. But here we are in Oraberg, wherever. And, uh, don't really know where we're meant to go just yet. A small yellow shard. <laughs> Some sort of implement made long ago. No idea what that is. Journal town map. Because I do believe... Well, we, we can technically go lots of places. I'm going to assume... That, like, ba ba ba. More than likely go to Eterna? Or maybe it's Harfholm. Didn't Spider-Verse get delayed? No, because there was Into the Spider-Verse, Into the Spider-Something, which was the sequel, and then the third sequel got delayed, I think, because of all the writers and actors' strikes. I forget. I forget the naming scheme. The first one was Into the Spider-Verse. The second one was something, Spider-something. I'm watching... I don't know how to pronounce that. Ariety? No idea what that is. Oh, I also want to check something. Because... Ba -ba -ba. A forgetty. I thought I had it. Oh, well... Because I think there is indeed routes in this game, but I don't know which route. Well, we'll have to figure out eventually. Because we can't go to Canalive. I don't think we tried to go to Floroma. I'm, we're going to just, I guess, meander. Oh, wait, we can go to the cave now. I forgot. We can make somebody learn Rock Smash. Yeah, da -da -da. Yes. I would like to teach it. Duck, you are Rock Smash now. You are, for now, to be our HM slave. We shall now see what... I don't think we've gone into, like, every single house, did we? I think we did. I don't know, they're just houses. Barry, what? you could have seen me. Barry, you could... You... Barry, how did you not see me? I was just there. Like... Truly, just, uh, you'd need to get your eyes checked, Barry. Whoops, Neon! You got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place of a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next step, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got time to count? Well, I guess in that case, we could go there and check to see what kind of Pokemon hang out this way. That's interesting music. Oh, and there's a ball. So yeah, we can check to see what kind of Pokemon are up here. Yeah, I'm a chop. I'm not really into my chop. Granted, if I need a fighting type, I know where to come for. One thing about me is I make references to my previous teams in my favorite stream... <laughs> or my favorite streamers. That's always cool. <laughs> to carry on your previous team in some way to the future. 
And I just realized I don't really watch, like, streamers that much. I don't know. There's, like, some weird, like, mind thing. Like, oh, no, there's commitment to watching a streamer. So I don't know. Brain is weird like that. At least we can level up uh, Nova a little bit. A little, little bit. But it doesn't seem like there's that many. <laughs> Just a Pokeball. It's amusing. But yeah, I don't know why. I, I think I prefer YouTube videos because I can, like, go at it at my own pace. Interesting that Geodudes are out here, too. Hmm. I should also be, like, swap leveling, like, the boy. Bubba Bub. Larry. I need to power level Larry. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to speed this up. I'm going to swap in Lancelot because I'm fairly certain Nova could destroy you because I don't think you have any rock moves, but just to be safe. We are going to annihilate you. I don't know why, but like, the animation of the game going, hey, your Pokemon is using the Quick Claw, just looks weird to me. And I don't know why. Good job, Nova. Ooh, double team. Hmm. Let's see. I wish that this gave me, like, more information on these, like, moves. That I could be like, okay, what's the power and stuff? Because... Quick Attack, I think, is just weaker tackle, but guaranteed to go first. Or at least has higher priority than other moves. We're not getting rid of Wing Attack. Growl could be nice. Yeah, I'm getting rid of Quick Attack. Oh, no, we can do that. Okay, good. I just didn't know if the game just automatically got rid of it or not. The user, yeah, let's see. It is sure to strike first. 40 power, 100 accuracy. 35 power, 95 accuracy. You'd think that's interesting. Why is that? That's weird. <laughs> Lancelot would beat Goku in a fight. Change my mind. <laughs> Goku, he's just too straight for the bi icon. But yeah, this is weird. I would think that Quick Attack would be, like, have some kind of offset in power to be like, oh, it's a little bit weaker than Tackle, but it's guaranteed to go first. But no, it has better accuracy and power than Tackle. And it goes first. Well, I guess goodbye tackle. Sure. <laughs> That's weird to me. You're the one I watch the most anyway since I have time to watch said streams. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm happy to be a fun streamer for you that streams at a good time for you. Kind of interesting. Let's see, is there any, like... Hmm. I'll just give the Garfield argument. Goku has died before. Gar Garfield has never bled. Garfield would win. The ultimate power. <laughs> power scaling can be funny. Then again, depending on your source, Garfield could probably have crazy feats. I have seen zero blood come from Lancelot yet. Until the gritty Zack Snyder adaptation comes out. Now my brain is wondering, what would the quote-unquote blood of a Geodude be? My brain says, maybe it would be like crystals, because a Geodude is based off of a Geode. Which is like an actual thing, like if you break open, it's a rock, where you break open, it has, like, crystals and stuff in it. So, huh. Pokemon Candy Gore Rocks? <laughs> well, the time's usually 11 p.m. when you start for me. Yeah. So for Night Owls, not a terrible time. Unless I go Ace Attorney Finale on you. <laughs> then it takes forever. And you don't get to see the end of the stream. 
This slope's too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up. You know, out of a bicycle, there's a cycle shop in Eterna City. I was hoping you'd fight me. Ooh. Oh, that music was cool, and I only got to hear it a little bit. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe he's just filled with mini Geodudes. Oh, that's horrifying. It's like Kirby, but with rocks. Each and every Geodude can be broken into smaller Geodudes. I will smash all the rocks because I can. People watch as I send my Geodude out to smash the rocks. And they're like, why are you doing that? There could be something in the rocks. And now my brain went... <laughs> now my brain went, combine the rock smash with the Geodudes breaking apart into smaller Geodudes. Rock smashing Geodudes are just fucking... Why, brain? Yeah, I'm a night owl, but I can't stay awake for eight extra hours, man. Such is the way of life. Brains are evil. It's like when you kill a spider nest or a spider of eggs. Yep, the evil thing. The burn down your house moment. The moment where you decide this is no longer... Basically, you go exterminatus on your house. This home is non-recoverable. I deem this unrecoverable and shall annihilate it entirely. Yeah, we're just gonna check out this cave because we can. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll look and see like what route routes is supposed to spawn. Because I know there's a Ralts and, like, a route or two in this game that Ralts is supposed to spawn. <laughs> I saw a cockroach once, and I've been homeless ever since. Mood. Depending on the size. Nightmare. I think it's just in my blood to stay awake. That's also a mood. For me, I have trouble getting out of bed, but then usually throughout the day, I don't really feel tired unless I'm sick. Congratulations, Larry. You have leveled up. Now, now evolve so that you can be useful. <laughs> you got non-sleeper. You are intelligent enough to stay awake. Bop, bop, bop. Go, Larry! <laughs> if only Larry could throw hands. I don't recall the last time I was sick. Neither do I. It's been a long time. I think. Either that or, like, I... Then again, I don't really get sick. I, like, usually tend to just get, like, bad headaches that just warp my entire feeling for the rest of the day. But, like, actually, oh, internal feelings of weirdness. It's been a long time since I've actually felt one of those. Break through that confusion. Damn it, Amp. You are letting down your ancestor descendants from Amp Plains. <laughs> He's just like me, for real, for real. I wonder where that even came from. The first time I ever saw that, I think was, like, not even the original. It was just, like, a, ba -ba -ba, a Chainsaw Man meme. Of, like, I think, what's his name? Dingy? Grabbing onto the television. Just like, he's just like me. <laughs> I'm not even sure either. It's just this weird thing. Everybody knows it. But nobody knows knows it. Interesting. We'll go get that Pokeball. I'm going to assume that this is a place we come back later because there is water and we do not have Surf. There are so many memes. Oh, hey, a Psyduck. Well, I have a penguin, so you can go to hell. 
but I can become a cool ping, like a cool, a cool duck, a gold duck even. I don't believe you, Psyduck. I don't even think you're psychic type yet, you false advertising hoe. Your three little strands of hair. <laughs> I have a family thing to go to, see you after. Sure thing, hope the family thing goes well. Or at least not terrible. Depending on your family. I'll need to read what Charge even does. This is me. I love Pokemon games. I've been playing Pokemon games for years. I don't know what many of these moves do. I hardly ever use most of these moves. Who needs strategy? I can just tell my Shinx to murder somebody. <laughs> That's the be all end all of Pokemon. Amp, kill this motherfucker. And then I take their money. Wait, TM Flash? TM Flash! Does that mean that we need not worry about caves? <laughs> Please? Because to me, the, oh, the lights are out in the cave are just dumb. They are silly. Hmm. Do I have, I think I have a few potions that I can waste. Because I don't feel like going to... But I want to use Amp in the upcoming fight. Unless that bitch is actually not a fighter and she's just here for some reason. Why are you just here? I wanted to fight you! You are moving around! Do you see those bumps of the ground? It feels awesome taking those fast on a bicycle. Oh, you bitch. You made me waste one of my potions. Because I thought you did. <laughs> Gardevoir used Flash. It was super effective. God, everybody wishes. <laughs> Granted, if it's the right Gardevoir, they would just be like, he he actually uses Flash at the right moment to just shear out everybody's eyes like they were ravers at an NFT rave. That actually happened. An NFT group, I think, Bored Ape Yacht, whatever the fuck, are like, heedily he, we're gonna have like a rave. But then they got the lo the wrong lights and they were medical grade, like UV lights or something and actually caused lasting retinal damage to people at the rave. That is what a guard of war that is sick of perverts would do. I'm going to shear your eyes out through the power of blinding lights. Or it could just be, I'm going to burn your eyes out with the power of anime censoring. Because there is the classic, oh, light beam <laughs> censoring. Not the Astonish. And that, that knocked him out of confusion. What? That would make sense, because it is Astonish. But still, it amuses me. That amuses me very much. Well, fine. You will split the experience three ways. I looked it up and apparently Basculin is in Super Mystery Dungeon, so Mommy Basculin could be real. Your dreams. Your dreams can come true. Pikachu uses Thunderbolt and gives people seizures. The anime. Porygon! Exactly. That is like the fourth, like, buh, 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 fourth critical hit that is useless to me. Okay, I need to be careful because I want this Pokeball. Mine. Porygon was framed. Detective Pikachu 2, the movie. Porygon is out for revenge. Justice for Porygon, indeed. Porygon deserved better. Because it's just amazing because I think the Porygon episode happened during Generation 1. And then they've just continued to make more Porygon forms. At least two more. And we'll never see them in the anime. Like, I can understand 
to a degree far back why they wouldn't want to include Porygon so soon after. But it's been over a decade or two since. You can use Porygon now. He's just like, come on. Give the boy his day in the limelight. How could, how could Ash be a Pokemon master? He never caught a Porygon. <laughs> they need to introduce a Porygon ghost type so that he can come back and get revenge on Pikachu. I might be going slow, but I want to I want to power level my boy Larry. Now I'm imagining an Ace Attorney Pokemon crossover. Which would be hilarious if it was like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Phoenix Wright gets thrown into the Pokemon world and becomes like a Pokemon. I don't know, like an Eevee, because I think that would be amusing. And he, like, I don't know. How, what kind of Pokemon would everybody be? Wait, no. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Edgeworth would probably be Eevee. Or maybe they could both be Eevee. I think that would also be funny. There's just many things you could do to make it just hilarious. Ace Attorney Mystery Dungeon. That'd be such a good episode, though. Have the return of the original Porygon from all those years ago coming back for revenge. I got put into cyber jail because of you, Pikachu. And now I'm here for your soul. Just watch Porygon go full-on Dusk Noir. I am going to burn out your soul and use your body so that I can instead live your life. <laughs> Edgeworth would be a Caterpie pretending to be a Darkrai. Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like Edgeworth is too secure in himself to do that. <laughs> Objection! I'm a human, not a Pokemon! Well then, Mr. Wright, why do you look like a Pokemon? Ha! Ah! And just to make it extra hilarious, everybody has like the same names. Franziska is there. I don't know a Pokemon that has a whip or a whip move. Although if she were a Pokemon with a very long tail, that could be her whip. Gumshoe? Isn't there a Pokemon basically just called Gumshoes? Gumshoe could be that one. I'm trying to think what Mia would be. I don't know, I've never played Ace Attorney. Is that the game where the pink gumball beats up a penguin with a hammer? No, that's Kirby. Ace Attorney is spiky-haired guy pointing at people saying, OBJECTION! It's where you cross-examine a parrot. Come on, Larry. Evolve for me, Larry. And I guess before I forget, forget, I'm going to quickly check. So that's why I have it in my mind, because it'll bother me forever. Brr. Oh, this is some nice music. Perfect place to wait. Let's see. Some nice music. I remember my parents role-playing the game after my dad was convicted of murder. Well, that's dark. <laughs> Eesh. Let me quickly check. 208 and 209. So there's multiple opportunities. Ah, so it's on the way to Heart Home. Oh, Mount Cornet. I completely forgot about you. 
Yeah, so basically just around Hartholm. Gotcha. Maybe the real Ace Attorney was the friends we made along the way. In a way, that is kind of Ace Attorney. I can't. <laughs> we have to fight him. Again, Larry's too lazy. He doesn't even know tackle. Pokizoo is proof that Pal World will survive. If Game Freak cared, it would be gone. I have no idea what Pokizoo is. I've just been in my own little corner, ignoring everything, including Pal World. <laughs> Shake my head, step up your game, Larry. Exactly! Larry needs to go to the gym. Then again, I'll... <laughs> Actually, he could, he could probably dominate the gym. He could bully all the fighting types. And a level up for Amp. Will you learn a move, Amp? Ah, you learned Spark, finally! <laughs> See you after supper. May the supper be good. Oh, hey, looker. I forget what voice I gave you. It just charges at us. Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? Is not a pal pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? All of them have been blocked, I think. Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilee City. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But, my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. You mean like you? You weird man. <laughs> in a slightly different topic, my copy of Ultra Moon came. Huzzah! I myself have not played the Sun or Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon. Maybe eventually on the, like, playthrough adventures, we'll get there eventually. Yes, give me that pal pad, I guess. It'll probably be useless to me. I'm glad you came. My name is Tila, and I'm your guide to the Pokemon Wi-Fi Club. You are useless to me. First, I need to give you this. I, have, I obtained a thing that is useless to me. That's your pal pad. You may register your friends in it. Uh, you are useless to me. Once well, you may link with those friends over the Wi-Fi. You are useless to me. Understood. And now I shall leave to never return. Like a child that entered the library. To never return. Well, we can go and maybe get a different, like, app on our on our phone watch. Because I do believe this guy said that the next one would be finished by the time I got my first badge. Hello, my dude. Hi, hi! I'm the pre president of the Poketech Army. Hi, hi! Your patience is rewarded. I've developed a new Poketech po Poketech app, the Memo Pad. Installed the app. The Memo Pad can be used for jotting down quick notes. It's the Memo Pad. It's well, it is what it is. I guess we'll check it out. There's a step counter. Here's a- because I'm drawing with my mouse, it's wonky. But hey, dude's trying. <laughs> What's the estimate on the next one? I'm president of the Poketech Company. I'm developing a new map, but it's not quite dumb. I guess I'll be ready once you get three gym badges. It yeah, better be pop popped full of content, my dude. I've been putting items on Pokemon and trading them over to a different copy for like six hours because I plan to reset the save file. That's one way to plan. Oh, uh, alright, we need to prepare my team because there appears to be trouble up ahead. Professor Rowan and Lucas are being assaulted by some bitches. <laughs> I am in pain. I can only imagine six hours of trading Pokemon again and again and again. And then you probably have to stop to, like, take items unless you have enough Pokemon for all the items. Let's see. Because I think my team should hopefully be good. <laughs> About 900 Pokemon. Ouch. 
Let's see. Rowan is being assaulted. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> we already had this conversation and you don't care about the two people being assaulted up here? Now, 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 Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Ah, Neon. Well, how is the Pokedex? <laughs> this guy does not care. Hmm, that's Orbug's gym badge, I see. But I hadn't uh, given you a first Pokemon only recently. Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business, because this is work for us. What we're saying is, we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot! Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Number one, don't loiter about for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Number three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Number four, don't think you've grown up just because you're in a group. Number five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? <laughs> just roast them. Roast them all. My original plan was to put all the items on the Pokemon and use a bank to move them over, but apparently, bank deletes the items. Ouch. You ever can't sleep without any background noise? It definitely makes it harder. That's why I have a fan. If I if it's, like, super cold, I just turn the fan away from my bed. <laughs> Rowan is such a chad. This, this is where his, like, warlord, paranoid, like, warrior ancestor blood comes from. It just shines through where he's just like, I don't care what you're saying. Professor, pro professors have standards. I know you said professionals, but my brain just then did a tumble, and I felt that it worked. My goodness, you call yourselves adults. You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Eh, you had to make this personal! You have forced our hand into making a show of force! We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic! You kids, give those these thugs a lesson civility, please. Neon, join me and battle these guys! <laughs> Rowan really saying, don't you lecture me with that $30... Don't you lecture me with that $30 haircut! Goku dies! Alright, we'll swap out, I think, to Amp. Man, where's these in the new games? I don't know. I've yet to play them. But it is nice when things happen and things are good. Of course you get a critical hit. You bitch. Well, fine then. I'll just spark you. And of course you're attacking Amp, you bitch. Hey, look, it's a Chimchar. Yep. Why do you get to go first, you jerk? And I'll finish you off. Get sparked. <laughs> All of my critical hits are worthless! I'll go ahead and heal because you guys were jerks and ganging up on Amp like that. It was getting pumped. Well, that's not what I want. I want to see. I, I forgot to look at what charge was. Let's go to Pokemon. Summary. Nope, I uh, want to go check moves. Uh, boost the power of electric move it uh, uses next. It also raises the user's special defense stat. Interesting. But I think we can just smack him and probably be fine enough. Get sparked, idiot. And we beat Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children? This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. 
And like in y Yakuza Zero, they drop their money as they leave. You leave us no option, we will retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. Well, that's a lie. That lot. They call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Neon, did you know about this? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. Considering that's a major thing for Pokemon, I would expect that. Although I suppose that could be a field of specialty. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I would think even more than that. Maybe that's the reason those goons tried to take the professor's research data. They're not allowed to do that! It's all over, so you can relax now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Neon, kudos to you for, still bat for your battling skill. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokémon. That, of course, means your Pokédex pages will continuously fill up. In other words, it will be of great help to my research. That said, I'd given, I've would given i given you your first Pokémon and Pokédex is your f yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. I can't believe Galactic Grunt would say that. Hope it doesn't make a stain on Galactic Grunt's reputation. <laughs> Maybe one day Galactic Grunt will finally be able to escape <laughs> Galactic Grunt. <laughs> the toxic relationship of clones. Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilee TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. I got fashion case. Okay. Contained within that fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of sh chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. And right now, the TV station is offering its facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There's also prize giveaways, too. Please do visit our TV station. Okay. Is he trying to lure me in with fashion? Where's fashion souls but for Pokemon? Pokemon would be useful to have, let's be honest. If Pokemon were real, the world would be crazy, but also much more interesting. <laughs> My heart goes out to you, Galactic Grunt. <laughs> Still kind of disappointed that the little uh, Pokemon status screen doesn't really show up-to-date data until, like, a load screen happens. <laughs> but oh well. I have ten accessories and three backdrops. I'm interested. Let's go to the TV station. They just give it to me. I might as well experience it. They keep track of official records here. Things like winning streaks and how many Pokemon you've caught. You can check everyone's records on the third floor. I have no friends. The TV station interviews all sorts of trainers for its shows. After all, people want to know about good trainers and what they say. Personally, I'd like to learn more about gym leaders. I'd also like to hear about the tough Elite Four of the Pokemon League. You'd think that, yeah, the, maybe the gym leaders are just sick of giving comments by now. I'm going to get commercials shown on TV that attract more customers to the department store. Unless they're terrible, then nobody will want to watch. Why don't you try dressing up your Pokemon now? We have a fitting room on the second floor. Dress up your Pokemon nicely with accessories. And this here is my Sandshrew in a gimp suit. Good evening, is everyone raising Pokemon? It's time for the Battling Trainers! On Battling Trainers, we're always on the hunt for news. Our interviewers have scattered throughout Sinnoh. We look forward to hearing about you trainers. That's all the time we have today. Goodbye, good battling. They didn't even actually put on any content. That was an ad for a show. The room at the back is our dreamy fitting room. Once you've done in there, get our dreamy hiker to take a dreamy photo. Why does it feel like he wants to watch? They display photos from trainers you've been mixing records with, right? I hope you collect yourself some good photos of dressed up Pokemon. Oh, your Pokemon are so very charming. How enchanting. They're so charming. I'll even hang a picture of one right beside me. I'm only doing this especially for you. Exciting, don't you think? Dress up your Pokemon in my boudoir and make it a sight to behold. I will snap a photo when you're done. And it's a hacker. <laughs> hacker? Hiker. Uh, sure, <laughs> tell me how to dress up my Pokemon in sexy fashion. 
You have a fashion case, don't you? Ah, oh, we oui, wonderful. He is a French hiker. Just choose the accessories and put them on your Pokemon. When you're done, I will snap a photo and put it up beside me. If you mix records with others, you can get their photos too. Why does that sound like a euphemism? Mix records with others. I think it will be much easier if you just try it. Ooh, I wonder which Pokemon you'll dress up. The buy icon. <laughs> but is it dreamy? I hope you'll dress it up adorably. Kind of wish we could dress Pokemon up we see during battles. That would be cool. You can see your accessory is on the left of lower screen. Touch an accessory, drag it to your Pokemon on the right, and position it securely. Yeah. You can put on, on ten accessories, so you should check for the right ones using the arrow buttons. Change the background with the square button at the center. Okay, let's begin. I wish that, like, you could mix them a bit better. I suppose. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Ah, oh, nice work. Let's display the photo right away. Oh, but it needs to have a title. I guess feelings. <laughs> Coolness. Coolness. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I get it now. Your aesthetic shine through. I put your photo up right here. It just looks so perfect there. Interesting. Oh, but... Okay, hello, ambusher. Hello, I'm of Jubilee TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? We are in Jubilee TV. Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. May I have your comment on the finished photograph? Coolness. You TikTok influencer, you. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French Pokemon. Give me a Zora. Wait, wait, actually. I'm trying to think. Which region is the one that's kind of French? Isn't it the one that Sylveon comes from? Sylveon, the true French Pokemon. Hon, 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 beget. Well, let's see. Is there anything here? Man, just another Bidoof. Go, Larry! Shove the Bidoof into the water! Then it's a, then, then again, it's a beaver. It wouldn't really care, would it? Yeah, I think Kalos is. I forget the names of a lot of regions. Like Hoenn. I forgot Hoenn's name last time we streamed. For I am but a fool. Well... Sorry for you, Badoof. Well, I guess we'll be fighting you. Oh, a weak-looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? I'm going to drown you in these pools of water for that. <laughs> Shinx versus Shinx, huh? Gonna be a real cat fight out there. And we <laughs> we won't even bother using our spark, even though your Shinx doesn't know like electric moves. Get sh ah damn it, amp. Well, then again, I think. No, wait, they, they did hit, darn you. Oh, no, did they? I forget. My memory is bad. <laughs> That's a weird-looking porcupine. It's not a porcupine. It's a lion. Aw, oh, I should have said no. You are the one that approached me with a singular Pokemon. You are deserving of death. 
Hello, small child. I'm gonna throw you into the weeds so you will die. I'll be with the magic card my dad gave me. I think you need to sue your dad for, like, emotional damages. Unless your magic card sends out a hyper beam. <laughs> And the worst thing is, this Magikarp is going to give me, like, no experience. Get intimidated, fish. I'm going to charge, because I can. So that you will suffer maximum damage. And this child, he's just watching this happen, thinking that this is just perfectly fine. Get sparked. Flushing a pet down the toilet is the worst way to bury him. It is. It's a very weird tradition that seemed to come along over the years. But they're Pokemon I got from my dad. Your, your dad is a cheapskate. Valentine's Day was funny to me. I had nothing to do. Had my Pokemon Spotify playlist. It was a fun day. I still need to continue writing my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like, Valentine's one-shot. Because I got inspired to start writing, and even though it's not going to be... <laughs> it's obviously not going to be ready for Valentine's. I can still post it out there in the world. <laughs> a dog would not fit in a toilet for flushing burial. Unless it was a very, very small dog. But even then, I don't think that kind of dog even exists. I'm gonna give my lizard a whole funeral with cake and presents. The kind of funeral a true friend deserves. How's the Cresselia mean? I need to actually start it. My brain was mean to my art again. So brain's like, ah, oh, we have to like go into damage control mode because I am mean to you and you are me. I don't know. My brain is evil. Come into the brush and fight me. May I please trouble you for a battle? Are you going to get angry at me if I win? But yeah, the, rest assured, the Cresselia meme will see the light of day at some point. At some point in the world. She won't get any of it, though, because she's pissy and rude. Your lizard? <laughs> Here's a party for my lizard, who is an asshole. <laughs> and now I'm reminded of uh, Lavender Town and the Lavender Town Tower and how, like, Pokemon burials exist in this world. Oh, you're so strong. You have one Pokemon. Get a Bidoof. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a Pokemon's hidden move will be able to smash those boulders, though. So that's why. All these were weaklings. They expected you to fight first. Even though they pointed you directly to Ouroburg. I have a cock uh, cockatiel named Snowy, and he's busy with anyone who isn't me. That's funny. A very specific bird. And then for the lizard, she gets mad when I don't give her food, uh, but she gets even more pissy when I do give her food. Weird little lizard. She wouldn't last a day in the wild. Animals are weird sometimes. Oh. Oh. A level three Zubat, I don't even think you're worth killing. Congratulations, you are too pathetic to kill. Just note if I failed to run away, I would have obliterated you and thrown you into the water. Wait, it's just like... Considering, like, the level of intelligence Pokemon have in this world, imagine just how utterly devastating the death of a Pokemon in, like, a family would be. Like, you have a Charizard that was, like, your grandfather's starter partner Pokemon. And it's been with your family throughout the ages, and then it just gets too old. And you have to watch its tail flame fade away. It's just, like, 
freaking heartbreaking, man. And now my brain is imagining, like, if Pokemon made, like, a Slice of Life series and had a serious episode like that. That would be horrifying to a degree. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types that's weak, too. Tell that to, like, the bastard gym leaders. Interesting music. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? I don't know. Oh, hey. <laughs> Aroma Lady Taylor. Also, that's not a flower, that's a bud. If only I had a fire type, I would light it on fire so we could blaze it. I feel like that one plankton meme. Uh, what's up? I don't think I've ever tried a plankton voice. It's been so long since I've heard plankton. Don't let the flame die out. But my phone died for a second. My bad. No problem. Technology be doing that. But yeah, I just kind of wish that there was more Pokemon media that, like, went out of its way to try and rip out your heart. Like, intentionally. Like, imagine if they actually had a Pokemon story, or a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story, and then committed to killing off, like, the human turned Pokemon protagonist. Like... Trauma for everyone. It randomly stopped telling me when it's low battery one day. Oh, that that's mean. Huh. That is very weird. Technology. Is it any wonder that people are so afraid of it? Technology! Oh my god. It was a strong trainer who was drawn here and then it went by too fast and I couldn't read it, damn it. Oh, you Nova is evolving! Bum, 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 bum. Rise, Nova, to another stage of brilliance. Your Nova evolved into Staravia. Huzzah, an awakening. I guess that's like, hey, if your Pokemon faint, uh... Or not, not faint. If your Pokemon goes to sleep, wake it up. This is my Snorlax. He has an IV drip of awakening. I don't think my uh, sweetheart could take any more emotional stabs after Explorers of Sky. Yeah, it's just like every major beat from Explorers of Sky is just masterful. Utterly masterful. It's partly why I'm doing Pokemon Platinum as, like, a palate cleanser before we get to Gates to Infinity. I don't know how, like, strong emotionally Gates to Infinity will hit me. I am going to give it a full, fair attempt to woo me. Because I like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I want Pokemon Mystery Dungeon to hurt me. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Therapy. The characters would need therapy after all that. <laughs> Explorers of Tears. Hey, hey, let me show off my bug Pokemon. If only you were a water type, then I could have done Corfish's voice. Hey, hey, look at my bug Pokemon. Your bug Pokemon are gonna die. There was one part in Gates to Infinity that got me good. At least now I can look forward to, like... At least I have... Yeah, because that's the thing. I think I remember hearing that Gates to Infinity has a decent story. It might be shorter than Sky. It has shorter, like, post-game, but... So long as the emotions hit good, I'll be happy. Yeah, and, and thank you very much for not spoils too much. I'm very much, like, fine with light little... Like, um... Not hints or foreshadowing, but, like... You know, that kind of thing of, like, 
Just so you know, it hit me good. Like, your general vague opinions on it. In that kind of way, I don't mind that at all. Whether it be like an Ace Attorney, somebody saying, this case is very annoying to me. Like, I wouldn't mind vibes, vibe kind of warnings and things like for that. Because the warnings of like, oh, this testimony of this clown was very annoying. At least I have like, a, I don't mind that too much. I'm not sure about like hyper specifics of like I don't know, like, episodes in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But just, like, there is a fine line of interesting, like, stoking the flames of interest or warning. I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way. But yeah, there's, like, a difference between out-and-out -out spoils. I, uh, I almost ran directly into a double battle. Gotta prepare myself. JK, I lied. It ends with Thanos making out with Homer Simpson as Cleveland Brown destroys all of South America. That sounds like a fanfic that does exist. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon quickly. Because oh, hmm. hmm. we have to go through a cave. I guess I'll just potion amp again. Because I want to level up Amp and Nova and Larry and everything. Apparently we're expected to get cut eventually. Hello, children. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? We're the strongest in our class. I am gonna throw you into that picket fence and you're never going to escape. I like my long hair. I'm just gonna refuse to cut it. Mood. I really like... Well, that's bad if they know electric moves then poor Nova's going to get obliterated. I like ba ba ba. Okay, so this is his turn, so then I can go here, throw out Amp. But yeah, like, back to thoughts. My thoughts have now been taken away. Oh yeah, I like my long hair as well. Long hair is nice. I'm sure there comes a point where I want to trim it just a little bit, but I like to keep my long hair decently, decently. Get double intimidated, idiot. This is an all-girl fight, I just realized. I think they only know <laughs> quick attack. We'll just <laughs> we'll just beat up this one Pachirisu. <laughs> On topic of cut, do Pokemon do hair cutting jobs? Maybe. If they have, like, the appendages for it, I could see maybe a Pokemon being a hairdresser. That could be an interesting thing. I mean, we see, like, a Machamp or something in the Detective Pikachu movie just in the background directing traffic. I could see there being Pokemon that like to cook and Pokemon that like to just, like, do things like that. Cut hair. Be interesting. Furfru would be one that would get the haircuts rather than give them. But at the same time, maybe. For some reason, I imagine, like, a Sneasel or Weavile giving haircuts. I feel sorry for you. He's like, we can one-shot this trainer. I had a bird out this entire time, and you didn't even fight him with an electricity. Oh, 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 but wait. No, no, oh, oh, or butts. You're going over the fence. You'll never escape. No one will find you until you starve. I immediately thought of Grovile. And Shane, my Trico. I mean, you can send your Pokemon on jobs in Sword and Shield? Huh. That's interesting. 
Scyther would either give immaculate haircuts or god-awful ones. There's no in-between. That is the difference between your Scyther and my Scyther. My Scyther does immaculate jobs. Your Scyther decapitates people. I want this Starly's dick exploded. You see? You fools, you double battle fools, that is how you kill a bird. With an electric type. I guess this is Flower Town. Where the flower power people all live. There have been problems with the electric power lately. Is there some trouble at Valley Windworks? If you got Pokemon with you, it's safe for even a kid like you to go off traveling alone. And then the criminals with even stronger Pokemon come out of the woods. I had a battle the other day and my Pokemon's HP got low. I thought we were done for. And then all of a sudden, my Pokemon ate the berry it was holding. Whew! Wow, you're just patronizing to your Pokemon. Your Pokemon's smart enough to be like, Ooh, berry heals me, nom nom nom. And you're like, oh my god, it's smart. Your Pokemon should leave you on that alone, lady. <laughs> then I saw a drawing of Lucario in a McDonald's worker outfit. <laughs> I think I've seen some, like, pictures of that. Or drawings of that. Like a Lucario giving, I think... Huh, I forget what it was. Another Pokemon, the... What are you, an idiot sandwich bit. <laughs> some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. So you need... Uh, so you're saying I need to do a honey pot. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Well, only some of them. <laughs> Just pan over to Johnny No-Nos, the Pokemon, sobbing. He will never know the sweet scent of honey. Do you know about Gracidia flowers? They're given as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. If only I could get a... What's it called? A shaman. God, that would be nice. Shaman's cool. I've never had one. I wanted to get some flowers from the Florama Meadow, but some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. Huh. We need to send this Orin Berry off to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe so that, like, it can get an increase in power. I want the life-size Lucario plush so fucking badly. That sounds badass. <laughs> Me too, but 350 pounds is <laughs> a lot. The void is always beckoning. Onwards we god. If we want to be. Wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, you spelled the specialty tights. Why is a netball a thousand pokey dollars? A somewhat different pokeball that works especially well on water and bug type. I mean, I, I guess, but why, though? <laughs> hmm. How many does it take to get ten? But then we get another Premier Ball. I'll do that. And then I think I'll be set on Pokeballs for eternity. I guess I'll start buying Super Potions, and again, that's very expensive. Hmm, let's see. Restores over... So basically, it is kind of priced to priced decently because 300 Poke Dollars for 20 points, whereas this is 700 for 500 points. So it's basically... Like, in terms of, like, potions, the super potion's not bad. A thousand for a netball is a scam because who the hell is rocking the, with the netball? Exactly. Because an exclusive ball made for water and bug types. But still, I would expect it to be like 600 Poke Dollars, I think would be a fair like price compared to like a normal Pokeball or a Heal Ball. But a thousand Poke Dollars? <laughs> it's a lot. Thoroma Meadow ahead. Honey available. I believe he said that those jerks were there. 
Berries can be used for food for Pokemon. They'll exchange berries for accessories to dress up your Pokemon. We simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? Well, I did just finish playing Pokemon Explorers of Sky. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. I guess you're a Pokemon. Seriously, what's that? What am I, a Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. Maybe you're a Zoroark. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers, that doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't come... <laughs> hey now, you're Galactic. Shut the fuck up. Die! Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. I wish I could just attack them. I'm like, why are you attacking us? Because I'm God, bitch. <laughs> my brain and my body are two different people, I swear. Ain't that just the mood? Dive ball is better than netball in almost all ways. That's hilarious. Give me that chesto berry. I'm probably never going to actually put berries away again. I've never been one to just harvest berries. Oh, you want to fight? Help, help, trainer. Please, I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people just like spacemen came. They kicked me out. They're making my papa do something. I miss my papa. I shall kill them immediately, post haste. I wonder if they'll just stop me. We Team Galactic are conducting research in the Eterna Forest. This is as far as you'll go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floralma. We are also covertly stealing the energy of the Valley Windworks, but that is of no concern to you. You'd think that I would immediately be able to pull out my Pokemon and smack them upside the head with the ball to start fighting them with that. <laughs> I get bug, po uh, bug types, but grass? Grass from the dive ball, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably get a life-size Zorark. Zorark is just neat. What even are you, Shellos? I don't think I care to, like, grab you. <laughs> I, too, shit myself when I see a Turtwig. But then from the life-size Zorark, or Lucario. That would be nice. The, I think I have a few Pokemon plushies. They're very small, like Finnegan, Eevee, Umbreon... I have a few. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I use the Zorark on my Black 2 team. I hopefully will be able to get... like, Zorark through Black 1, Black 2 or something, or whichever one I choose. I think I did research and like, hey, what are the differences? And then, like, completely forget what the differences are, so I'm gonna have to redo my, like, research. Kind of mean game. That guy, he's weak to my electricity, but his powers are also strong against my electricity. What's with that? Ex Zor uh, Zorua is exclusive to an event in Black, one, uh, Black and White 1. Well, if worse comes to worse, I could just, like, <laughs> hack it into my game. It's not like I'm going to be trading these Pokemon away, and I just want to, like, have them on my team, so maybe I'll do that. That's a funny aha uh -huh for me. Give myself a level 5 Zorua if I can, like, finagle how to get the Pokemons to work properly. <laughs> but in Black and White 2, you get our gifted one. Neat. <laughs> I have one for my, uh... For my white team named Koga. I moved her to Shield. I was tr uh, traded her for, by a family member. It's very nice. Gives you an emotional attachment to a Pokemon. <laughs> so I hold Koga close to my heart. Okay. I'm pretty sure you could also catch Zorua in black and white. I think I did hear that... Zorua was from an event in one of them. So I don't know. It's entirely possible that maybe it was potentially added as a like a normal catchable somewhere, or maybe it was from a different you know, Pokemon game. 
One of those <laughs> Master Koga lore. He was a ninja. <laughs> Would be funny if, like, all those years ago, I was always a Zoroark. Mwahaha. <laughs> Just see. We'll probably level up Larry and Amp through this and then continue on to fight Team Galactic at the Windworks. Get blasted, idiot. Oh, and potentially paralyzed. You're still going to hit me with Mud Bomb, aren't you? Why would you do that? Maybe you don't know Mud Bomb, and you're like, I'm gonna go for my stab attack. Maybe. I know this Zork you can catch in black and white. Hmm. Very interesting. Good job, Larry. Damn it, almost leveled up amp. And frickin' Larry is yet to evolve. Larry, at this rate, you're not even going to be. Uh, Bob, if, uh, we're not gonna grind anymore, we're just gonna go fight Team Galactic and hope that we're a decent level. Worst, wor worst comes to worst, we can try to have Lancelot carry us. <laughs> Ganon's been watching in horror as I build a mech. That'd be a way to do things. Who needs the Master Sword? I have the Master Mech. Because you replayed it recently and didn't find any Zorua, unless I missed it. Hmm. Then again, it could be a very rare spawn, like uh, Routes is in Emerald, where you can indeed find a Routes in the same spot that uh, Wally catches one, but it's a rare spawn. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out, and if you're, they're not a part of Team Galactic, you're giving me a look that makes me think they're, you're going to try and go in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle me for it. That's possible, too. A Zorark pretends to be human when you visit the abandoned trailer or caravan. Hmm. I'll have to do research, then. See if I can get to experience it. This is some nice battle music. Growl all you want, I'm going to blast you into hell. With the power of Spark! <laughs> That's just a mini cutscene. Oh wait, never mind, I was thinking of a different thing. Don't you just love it, your mind creating interlocking links? Making you think one thing when it's actually another? I do think you need Legendary Beasts as Shiny to get it, though? Why would that be a requirement? Why would they specifically be like, you need shiny legendary to get a Zoroark? What? What madness is this? Why are you just growling at me? Why are you just doing that over and over? I am blasting with you electricity. From an event in Heart Gold sold silver. Mm. Pokemon. Just going the realm of crazy complicated. You growl at me five billion times, getting hit a lot, and then you hypnosis me? What is wrong with you? You lunatic fringe? And now you attack me. What is wrong with you? Your glam meow is weaker than that other glam meow that that other grunt used. Now get blasted. And a level up for Anne. Huzzah! Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. He even admits it. You poor... Ooh, Amp is evolving! Become a grand warrior. From your Shinx form, you give way to Luxio. So that you might obliterate our foes, Amp, and live up to the quality of Amp Plains. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. You can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works 
Marquis not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Haha, <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. <laughs> Kerchunk. Well, I guess he has me there. I guess we'll fight, fight another Shellux on our way out. But yeah, Pokemon is just crazy with the events. Oh, yeah, Pachirisu. Well, I have my Luxio, so I don't really care. Also, you're probably so weak, I could probably send out Nova to obliterate you. Without fear of anything. Okay, so to get a gift Zoroa, you need a Celebi. That's interesting. And very specific. I guess they have, like, did a giveaway event. Like, that just seems like a weird, like, decision. And again, this Pachirisu was actually quite, kind of tanky, apparently. Either that or Nova's weak. But also, that's kind of mean of black and white to do that, because one of the Pokemon that is most, like, black and white is most known for is Zoroark. And they're just like, we're gonna make it a pain to get this Mon. Either way, I'll look into it. And if it's, like, a super pain, depending on, like, what need do, I'll hack in the right Pokemon. Or maybe I'll just give myself a level 5 Zoro or something, I don't know. Because I want to actually use these Pokemans in gameplay on the adventure. That's part of the reason why I'm very disappointed with, like, the most majority of legendaries throughout Pokemon. They're like, you beat the game. Now we're going to give you a Pokemon you can't use. Which is just weird. But let's go to the flower patch and kill some dudes. Ah, they moved. Let the murder commence. Okay, so for the abandoned trailer one that Jordan was talking about, you need at least one of the legendary beasts in your party, and I think it needs to be shiny one, but I could be wrong. That's very complicated. <gasps> Looks like I was wrong. You do need one of the legendary dogs, though, not all three. Very interesting. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, that kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. They're threatening my life. And in black and white, too, you just get a Zoroa gifted to you in this story. Now, see, that makes more sense. That is what I would more expect out of, like, the signature Mon of that generation. <laughs> Go... <laughs> Galactic Grunt, kill him! But in, like, the style of the Mr. Electric, send this man to the principal's office and have him expelled. Get wing attack, idiot. Well, that's just very rude. All you did was poison me. I'm gonna kill you the next turn. You fool. You utter meringue. Level up for Nova. This is why I'm gonna get stuck as a grunt forever. You'll never become an admin. You'll never become an admin of the Discord server. This is so lame. They're gonna get they're gonna dock my pay. You get paid? I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. It really doesn't. <laughs> Galactic Grunt, steal his balls. Or in this case, her balls. Again, gotta continue the tradition of Pokemon Neon, even as a human, being a girl. Now my brain went to a place like, 
what if in, like, the normal Pokemon games, some Pokemon can only be found depending on your gender? We'll gender lock everything. Just make everything obtuse. What's that? You were born on the 5th of January? You only get certain Pokemon to spawn. You're gonna send out another Zubat? You're, you're hardly even worth killing. I should just throw you off a cliff. Now I'm imagining, like, a, a criminal team, and they're like, I'm gonna fight you with my Pokemon, but then the protagonist is like, actually, why don't I... You catch these hands. <laughs> Pushes them out of a flying vehicle. Ah! It's like that one character from that My Hero Academia spin-off manga who's a vigilante, but they can't arrest him because all of their vigilante laws are, like, revolving around the usage of quirks, and he's quirkless, so he, they're just like, well, he's doing vigilanteism without a quirk, so there's nothing we can do. And I forgot to read that. I want a promotion is all I got out of that. After a bit more looking, I do believe you need one of the shiny legendary beasts from a movie promotion in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Hmm. So yeah, for that one, I'll probably just give myself a Zorua at the beginning of the game and not bother, because I have no idea how to properly do that. Like, maybe there's a way? <laughs> but that would just be a lot of bob de ba 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 I don't want to deal with, but I do want a Zorua, but I don't want the hassle. And again, it's just so weird. They're like, hey, here's a Pokemon that we, like, showed off in a previous generation's movie as, like, hype for the fifth generation. Let's make it nearly impossible to get. <laughs> you can get them uh, physical copies through with a D DNS method. Huh. Ah, not sure about emulators, though. There might be some way, but that's cool that there's, like, event DNS things. Because I think I did remember hearing about that. That there is, like, a, a Wi-Fi DNS trick to still get events that were long gone. That is very a very cool thing. This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Together than uh, tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. I don't think you do. We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? May seem to have forgotten it. It's a work scheme. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. I did kick their ass for it. If you if you took it, I would kick your ass too. Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweets. I should have been giving him a poo voice for like Winnie the Pooh. They've been trying to rob me of my... I, I wish I could do a better Winnie the Pooh voice. They were trying to rob me of my poor sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense, either. Oh, I need to thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. And by a whole lot, you mean, like, one? Slather that honey on a sweet-smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. Oh, yeah. They actually they went out of their way to make it wobble the screen, too. I have a few events with the DNS method, like Liberty Pass, uh, Victini. That's cool. As much as I do like Pokemon, it is kind of sad that a lot of content in the game is still, like, locked away forever because of special events that were, like, super rare. Because, like, especially if they were, like, regional. At least in later years, I think they made it so that more events were just, hey, go to Mystery Gift and stuff. Just kind of disappointing that a lot of cool things are just unavailable to get. I can't believe Victini got sponsored by Liberty Mutual. Victini must die now. Did you not catch a Shaman in Legends Arceus? Shaman is one of the ones that only appears if you have a specific other Pokemon game, I believe. Same thing with Darkrai? Because I know with one of them, 
you need like blazing diamonds or shining pearl data to then spawn the necessary side quest to get one of the legendaries. But then there was another Pokemon game that you needed the save data from to then activate the Shaman quest. <laughs> My Marshadow got sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends! What the hell? If you put honey on a tree, checking back later to see if it's rustling. If it is, it's quite a rare Pokemon. It gets my hopes up if I see it happening. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. Do you see how they're ma more vivid than the flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. They fuck these flowers. Pokemon Battle Watch! Good evening, everyone keeping up the good battle. It's time for Pokemon Battle Watch, where we do in-depth analyses of hot-blooded battling trainers. Let's get off the show. Battle Watch! Gotta catch them all. It's the Catch That Pokemon show. But we were just on Battle Watch, though. So let me tell you about this show's featured Pokemon catching trainer. The trainer that caught her eye with a dandy of catch is none other than the ins inestimable Neon. And what, you may ask yourself, did Neon catch? Why, none other than a mighty fine Starly. Your show is out of date. They're a Staravia now. Nice one, Neon. That's one slick takedown. The Pokemon was nabbed with an expertly thrown Pokeball, and out of two thrown, it was the very last one. Lame joking aside, we're talking about one great trainer in Neon. Oh, hang on, I've got a new hot update. If we were just told that Neon nicknamed the Cod Starly, the nickname's Nova. Yow, Neon, you're the last word in cool, and you're so cool you're absolutely zero. Listen up, folks, you got out. You go out and emulate Neon. Go out there and catch Pokemon like there's no tomorrow. How did they know? Were they stalking me? I think you need Sword and Shield for Shaman. Yeah. <laughs> I want to dress up as Captain Toad. Uh, <laughs> decent enough. And Blazing Diamond Shining Pearl for Darkrai. It's just kind of funny to me. They're just like, hey, we're going to make it so that you can't catch these Pokemon unless you bought these other games. At least with that one quest where you were supposed to, like, cross-reference like a book from Blazing Diamond Shining Pearl, you could just look up the answers. It's locked from the inside. Use the works key, Kerchunk. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Hello, bitch. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Ah, oh, this looks so vibrant. Why can't I open this box? I'm here for murder. Hey. Oi! This is no fun in games. This is a proper work, I tell you. But is that actually true? I just thought the shame in quest was implemented in the game. Nope. It is a save data bonus mission. You can only get Arceus in uh, Blazing Diamond Shine Pearl if you beat Legends Arceus. So at least there is some back and forth. <laughs> I think you get Manaphy in the base game. Yep. You just need the information from a book that can only be found in Blazing Diamond Shiny Pearl. Or you could just look it up on the internet like I did. Get blasted out of the sky! Murder is super effective. Why did you only have the Zubat? What? Some brat messed up my job! And I'm gonna do it again. Team Galactic needs electricity doing something big! I'm gonna murder your family. Collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks. That's our mission. I'm so sorry if this comes as off as rude. I'm not trying to be, but it's a brilliant diamond, just letting you know. Was I saying blazing diamond? I'm sorry. My brain's just like, I know that it's B something D. I don't know what it is, though. I'm a, I'm a very silly individual. I'm terribly sorry. I, like, hardly remember. I only ever see people talking to it, referring to them as like, oh, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, or using the acronym BDSP, so I just, n it never clicked in my brain the full name. And Darkrai as well? Wow, Game Freak. Just how ridiculous did you want to make your games? 
They were like, well, we can't really do in-person events anymore. Instead, we'll make it be save data. <laughs> Again, not trying to be rude. And you weren't rude. You were very nice about it. My memory is the one that's being rude here today. We'll send out Larry again. So that Larry can be babied up to, up to the level that he finally evolves. Go, Nova! We shall murder this stunky to death. You know, I'm almost kind of surprised they didn't just make a platinum remake and have it be one game. <laughs> Larry's trying his best. Unfortunately, his best is terrible. He just wants to run away, and we're just forcing him to be here. I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. Oh, finally, you're evolving, Larry. You'll finally be able to do something before we replace you with a Ralts. I'm sorry that you couldn't just be Merlin from Crystal. He finally learned an attacking move. Now I can finally just start leveling up my Pokemon normally again. I don't need to... I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, that's an admin. <laughs> that's an admin, I think they're Mars! I think that's their name! <coughs> I'm gonna have to deal with the Adeptus Mechanicus! They're gonna shove a Porygon up my ass! <laughs> but at least now, the boy has an attacking move. He can do things. I forget. So if I want, I could just send out Larry to obliterate any poison types now. I have type coverage. Finally. <laughs> Team Galactic battle theme slash Team Galactic admin battle theme are probably my favorite tr uh, tracks in this game. Meh. I do remember enjoying, like, the... Cypher battle theme from uh, Colosseum, so. And the grunt theme, general battle theme, was pretty good. So let's see what the admin theme doth have for me. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Well, at least it seems pretty fair. I like Giratina's theme. Yeah, Giratina's awesome. You only have two Pokemon, and I have five. Can you try to give Mars an Amy Rose voice, please? Oh, I, I, I would be terrible. It's like, never fear, Amy Rose is here. I'm, I just, it's been so long since I've heard Amy speak. Get blasted, Zubat. And what are you gonna send out next? A Perugly, huh? Your ace Pokemon, huh? I shall match them with my own. Lancelot! Go! The remix of it in the uh, Legends Arceus goes unnecessarily hard. I love it when music goes good. Of course you get a critical hit, and you make me flinch, you bitch. Oh, yeah, this theme. I recognize it now. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I'm fighting you. To the death. Super Potion! <laughs> I usually just go with Adventure 2 fan dub voice of Amy because it's funny. I don't think I've watched that one. 
Let's see what Bubble does against you as a stab attack. It's probably not a lot, because I think it's like 30. At least it lowered your speed. Haha. <laughs> Why do you do so much damage? Why did you get a motherfucking crit on me? Yeah, like none of my damaging moves are doing good. Amp, go! And plus I get, uh, cuts through your attack a little bit. And I have a damaging stab attack that it might actually do some damage. I actually don't know how much damage it'll actually do. A decent amount, actually. Haha, <laughs> and you're potentially paralyzed. And you're eating something that's gonna raise your health, or your... Yeah, okay. Not that bad. More sparking! Go, Amp, and show them what you're made of! <laughs> and you're paralyzed and can't move. Amp is becoming a god. I just noticed that Galactic theme has part of Giratina's theme. Or opposite. <laughs> Either or. Huzzah, Amp. You win the day. And Lancelot also got a lot. <laughs> this can't be. I lost. And I, that goes way by too fast, game. Well, it is a level 17 perugly. Maybe. Oops, I messed up that one. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My mind lose to a child, will you? But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me. To me, Charon, the genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should get going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only one in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. And then they all vanished. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Why couldn't they just Gisekai themselves? There's plenty of trucks of Mew under them if they want that. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Uh, don't go shout Tucker on me. God, now I'm imagining Full Metal Alchemist mixed with uh, Pokemon. Ha. Huh. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now! Well, at least your daughter cares about your health. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. This child wants to be abducted. Thank you. Oh, yes. A balloon Pokemon appears in front of the Windworks. It's always a certain day of the week, but I'm not sure which. Could its appearance have something to do with the Windworks using wind-generated energy? The bringer of wars. Your target is the energy of power plant. The bringer of contentment. Your target is the Pokemon statue of Eternia. The bringer of aging. Your Pokemon is the Pokemon that slips on, sleeps on today. The dream energy. Obviously, Mars is the bringer of war. And they just left their, like, modus operandi on these deadly D. <laughs> Womp Womp L Mars, losing to Child. I would just use all six Pokemon at once. That would be an interesting thing if, like... Like, it if it were possible to have, like, a different kind of combat system that where you could do that and have, like, an all-out battle royale. Because I don't think there's a limit for sending Pokemon out at once. I think, like, gameplay-wise, yeah. But, like, in-universe, no. <laughs> Unless you care about the building being destroyed. Ah, yes, the old Mew under the truck reference. And then, maybe it's Wednesday because it sounds like Wednesday. I don't think it would work like that, I don't think. I think it'd probably be random. <laughs> ah, yes, it is you, yes. I've heard that Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So the Team Galactic, where are they? 
You have run them off, you say. You are a trainer, but... Very well. I should go investigate inside. <laughs> to wait a while. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What you have said, it is all true. Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well. I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the team Galactic are hiding out is in Eterna City. To there, I must be off. A runny little man, isn't he? Gotta heal up my Pokemon again. Looker is a funny little man. He always gets there too late for the dangers. Bing bong bing. Thank you for restoring my Pokemon to hell. I shall now go kill God. Now I'm imagining, like, Pokemon Legends R Giratina, where instead of playing as the Chosen of Arceus, you play as the Chosen of Giratina to take down Arceus. If you slather sweet honey on sweet-smelling tree, you might be a, um, a Pokemon may be attracted by that sweet scent. So Pokemon isn't a scent play, is it? Obuzu! Mm-hmm, I... I guess I'll catch you just because I can. I don't mind, Buzel. Does mean that I have a redundant type on my team. But hey, I'm willing to overlook that. And besides, you can be used for waterfall and surf and stuff, I guess, so that my dear, dear Lancelot doesn't become an HM slave. Go, Pokeball! I was going to make a joke about that, but it'd be spoilers for Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I don't know if you've played that or not. I have! I actually streamed it when it first came out, I believe. I think. Nearby when it first came out, I think. But I have definitely beat it all the way to the post-game. Except for the part where uh, I haven't fought Arceus himself, though. I did fight... <laughs> I did fight Mr. Pointy Hair. I'm going to strike down God, though. <laughs> It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through the water. The tails also slice clinging seaweed. What kind of name should we give you, Buzel? What name shall we give you? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Ba -ba -ba. Trying to think, trying to think. What name should you have? Hmm. I know. I think. <laughs> Southern DDD is forever engraved into my mind. Oh, yeah, because. It's such a shame when the Four Kids era ended. Four Kids' best work was Kirby. I gotta get that there, Kirby! That's the best work we do at NME. You better get it with a money back guarantee! <laughs> Four Kids is very nice. But I'm gonna name him Pippin. Come along, Pippin. Probably won't use you too much. Fight me. I probably should have put Pippin in front. Oh well. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go to Eternal Forest? Ah, you won't. You only have one Pokemon. It is a Ponyta, though. But will you be able to survive? Spock. For a moment there, I thought I got contact burned. Get sparked, idiot.
Ah, actually, good level up. Level 17 for Amp. That really dampened my spirits. Go back home and be a family kid. Play catch with your father. And if your father's not there, play catch with your father's machoke. <laughs> like, now I'm imagining, like, Helsing Ultimate, but instead of... Or, like, Helsing Ultimate abridged, but instead of Arthur keeping Alucard down in the basement like a gimp, it's a machoke. The sequel to Family Guy, Family Kid. It would be like Kid Sheldon. Everyone would die. I guess we can swap level Pippin a little bit. Maybe as we go along. Oh, hey, do you have an item? I didn't even realize. Ah, Wackenberry. In fact, I want to see. Can Pippin learn Rock Smash? Because if so, we can not have to deal with Duck. Let's see. You can! Come on, Pippin. You already know four moves, and what are those four moves? Water Sport, Quick Attack, Pursuit, Water Gun. An attack that inflicts double damage if used on a foe that is switching out of battle. Get rid of Water Sport, because I don't really care too much for it. Move weakens Fire-type moves while the user is in battle. Hmm, I don't really use Water Sport, and it's kind of weird. The, the move weakens Fire-type damage. You are a Water-type. It's already weak. <laughs> Once, there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everybody died. The end. Yep. But there's already young Sheldon. Ah, that won't stop Family Guy. Family Guy will be like, we invented young Sheldon. And anybody that is incorrect, they will call them cringe on the internet. Let's throw in Nova. Funnily, the first time that I ever heard the name Sheldon, it was from the the show Garfield and Friends in the U.S. Acres segments. Funnily enough, a character in the Pokemon, or in the Pokemon, a character in the Sonic comics is called Lanolin, just like the sheep character in Orson Farm segment, U.S. Acres, also called Lanolin, which is amusing to me. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed up to hike. Ha <laughs> here goes. Are you saying you're gonna hike up my ass? What's wrong with you? Hey, Pippin, you can annihilate this guy. Get water gunned, idiot. I'm so glad Seth Rogen invented the words family and guy. Now I wonder who did invent those words. I first heard the name Sheldon from Splatoon. I've never met anybody actually named Sheldon. Isn't that just the way it is? All these places and things and games and movies and shows having all these names, but you're never actually going to run into anybody actually named it. Very amusing. You are feeding my Pippin. Keep feeding the boy. Spit on this rock man. Erode his brain. Make him smooth just like his brain. Smooth Geodude does not exist. Smooth Geodude will not hurt you. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle that was. Pokemon taught me naming children after colors is okay. <laughs> well, this is an interesting, like, track sound. Fight me. I love Pokemon that smell sweet like this one. Get a whiff of this. 
Is that your kink? Oh god, you made it your whole personality. And it's actually one of the ones that a lot of people want to fuck, too. Bum bum. <laughs> you got red, gold, silver, blue. Scarlet and Violet is the only Pokemon games named after colors where the main characters' names aren't the actual colors. I think they are Florian and Julian or something. That's actually interesting. <laughs> Although that would be funny if, like, every single game just had that be the thing. It's like you play Emerald. It's just like, come on out, Emerald. You're going on a Pokemon adventure. Get to Diamond and Pearl. Come on, Diamond. Go on a Pokemon adventure. You get to Sun and Moon, same thing. Come on, Sun. Pokemon Adventure. You get to Sword and Shield. Come on, Sword. Pokemon Adventure. It just never ends. <laughs> Neon, you got me thinking weird brain thoughts like you always do. I am the one who gives people things to think about. I am doing my civic duty. I'm now realizing there are only a few Pokemon games named after colors. Yeah, because really, it's Generation 1, technically Generation 2 because it's metals as well as... Blah, blah, blah. Because it's like... Like, yeah, metals as well as colors, then gems as well as colors. But then Diamond and Pearl really aren't colors. Platinum, kind of. Then you get black and white, which are definitely colors. Then you get to, like, XY, Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield. <laughs> and then back to Scarlet and Violet, so that's kind of funny. The canonical names for the player character is Victor, I think. Interesting. The more you know, the easier it is to murder God. It's a long way between Floroma and Eterna City, so let's battle! <laughs> My favorite color, white too. <laughs> Zachary, you only have one Pokemon. Your Pokemon is going to fucking die. <laughs> Go Nova! You need to level up! Victor and Gloria for Sword and Shield. Very interesting. You cannot astonish the bird. Nova is already an exploding star! <laughs> Nova just picks up the A-palm, flies really high, and drops him to the ground. A level up for the Nova. Wow, am I out of Pokemon that can go? You had one. You had singular. You are going to die. Maybe I could do the world a favor and kill you right now. Spare you the pain of inevitable failure. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Ones that are going to kill you. Why is he a camper and you're a picnicker? What are you, Yogi Bear? Spit on this Bidoof. Haha, <laughs> you missed, idiot. Spit on this Bidoof. Actually, I wonder. If you're a normal type. Rock smashes fighting type. Smashes rocks. Actually, did do all that much more, all things considered. <laughs> Hey, yo, boo boo boo! Do you have that picnic basket? I have, like, not at all ever heard, like, Yogi Bear's voice in a million years. I worded that weirdly because I had different thoughts I wanted to go down. Then I realized, wait a minute, that is counterproductive to my, like, point. Now eh, let's swap Pokemon and we'll annihilate him. Larry, your time to shine is here. 
Confuse this squirrel. Make it think that it is like spring so it'll gorge itself and die of starvation. What kind of nuts does Pachirisu say for the winner? I don't know why, my brain just immediately threw the words gargle balls at me in response to my question. And I don't even know what that means. Pissy the pissy lizard wants food. I'll be right back. May it be less pissy after it gets food. Although from what you said, it won't. I'm shocked. How did I lose? You had two Pokemon. Which is better than Zachary, but still. I'm going to steal all these berries. And then I will send them to the Mystery Dungeon universe. And then I will sell them at a hiked price. <laughs> Just somebody dropped their heel ball. Why would they do that? Did they not care about their heel ball? Why is there... That answers my question, but still why? Well, since we're not that far away, we can go back and heal. And we're only now entering into the darkness of the night. I do so enjoy Pokemon games. They're very fun. I like them. They're a good old time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we can be on the lookout for another Pokemon to catch to replace Duck, since... Dear old Pippin will be our rock smasher for now. <laughs> now I'm just imagining, it was just like, why was I caught for this team uh, to use rock smash? Oh my god. I've lost my way, here of all places. Where were you trying to go? With... You know, I should probably be scared. Water gun. <laughs> Remember how I reacted last time? A fucking onyx! But I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> you're a pathetic Pokemon. You're super big and scary, but you, you're not. You're a, you're a baby's toy. God, I probably shouldn't have said that considering what you look like. <laughs> Gen 1, colors. Gen 2, metals. You can probably say colors too. Gen 3, gems. And kind of colors, because ruby, sapphire, emerald. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Gen 4, crystals. Gen 5, shades. Gen 6, letters. Gen 7, light. Gen 8, weapons. Gen 9, back to colors. Kind of goes full circle. So next we should be expecting medals. Having lost his way, the trainer lost the battle too. You had one Pokemon. You're not even really a trainer. You a bitch. Ah, oh, it's a patch of Risu. I forget, do you even have anything that will scare me? You are back from feeding the pissy lizard. <laughs> she is slightly less pissy now. Good for that. I wonder how much this will do. I just wanted, for curiosity's sake. Honestly, not that bad, all things considered. But quick attack always goes first. So nice. Growl all you want, you will still die, little Pachirisu. I, I wish I knew that Android 17 quote that's just like, something something or become the... the nutrients that'll feed the earth or something like that. One time I bought her crickets to eat for some change, but they died overnight before she could eat them. Oh, that's gotta be sad. They're like, Father, you let my meal die before I could kill it. But what? Guitar riff? Yeah, there's no holding anything back. I then gave them to the hawk that refuses to leave property. <laughs> That's funny.
You have been chosen by the power of the hawk. We don't really have anything like that, I don't think. Focus all your energy, you're still gonna die. Get spooned, idiot. He isn't even a pet or anything, he just thinks this is his territory. That's funny. Huzzah for Pippin power leveling up. And a power level for Larry, too. I, I can see it. I think you're on a different level. You had one Pokemon. <laughs> like Mofo, I don't see you paying bills. Be amusing if they did. He gives you like a hundred dollar bill every month. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Why do you sound like a predator? What are you, actually 50? You have a Piplup. I will annihilate your Piplup with Amp. Hey, Amp. <laughs> Think of this as like a younger Lancelot and kill him. You have done nothing of use. Die. You fool. You absolute meringue. Oh, boo, how insulting! You have a singular Pokemon! Repels are useful, don't you think? When you use a repel, weak Pokemon won't come out, but that also means there won't be any Pokemon to capture. You seem a little tired. Rest a while. Why do you seem like a predator? Did you both just watch me sleep? Sinnoh, now! This is it, the one you've all been waiting for! It's time for Sinnoh now, your portal to what's hip and happening in Sinnoh. Here's the story on the cutting edge of Sinnoh trends. This is Helena bringing you on spot weather. Route 213 is blessed with cloudless skies. I would like to take this opportunity to do my piled up laundry. It'll be nice to dry them under the sun here. That's the weather brought to you by Helena. Something tells me that Helena is going to die. Final Destination style. Ah, we can cut around Eterna Forest maybe someday. Many poison type Pokemon take the Eterna Forest their home, but I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or do I go back? Hmm. Well, if there are poison types. And if worse comes to worse, we can just teleport out of there with Larry. Haha. <laughs> I'm going... Hello? Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Neon. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Neon, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there's safety in numbers. Please, may I come with you? I, have, I get no choice in this. I think it's funny to imagine the reason the main characters get so lucky on their adventures because Arceus chooses the random kid for giggles. You have been blessed by Arceus. Now you get everything. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. You will? Oh, that's neat. So I guess I don't need to worry about... My boy. My boy's dying a horrible, painful death. <laughs> that one looks silly. Let's give them incredible luck. Where time flows eternally. That's everywhere. I'm searching for bug Pokemon so I can win at Eterna Gym. Bug Pokemon are great, you know? They grow really fast. Well, some, but this, this antidote did not save somebody. It did not save somebody. Sucks to be them. Random rock. A double battle? Interesting. And a level 20 Chansey, huh? We shall kill the Badoo, because we can. Then again, maybe I should catch a Badoo. It becomes Rosalia. Hmm. <laughs> Chansey just says, GRENADE! Ah. 
I wonder if the chance he will steal some of my experience. My joke is Arceus just throws me across universes for shits and giggles. <laughs> Today, I think I will turn you into a Pokemon. Yeet. Today, I'm going to send you to Kalos. Yeet. Oh, this is where we can get... What's it called? My brain is melting. I do not remember what is called. That's just not coming to me. Leafeon, yes. That is it. For some reason, my brain was stuck on, like, the words floral? And it's like, Florion. It's like, that's not it at all, you stupid fuck. How do you miss with a bomb, Chansey? It is a bomb. Maybe you should go and team up with Batman. He seems to have trouble getting rid of bombs. We have murdered Cascoon. He is dead now. No one will find the body. Double Bidoof. We interrupted their lesbian date. And we terrified them too. Well, experience is experience. <laughs> I say as I pull out my gun. Imagine if D&D &D rules were like real. It's just like, by killing things, you get experience. <laughs> basic, very basic names for some of the evolutions. Yeah, sometimes my brain just dies and forgets basic things. I do not understand why it does this, it just does. Ah, Nova leveled up, yay. How do you keep missing with bombs? You know, a lot of people imagine Necrozma would try to kill Arceus, but I like to think they meet up every Sunday to chat about what they've been up to while eating Dairy Queen. That would be amusing if, like, all the gods just do that sometimes. So, Arceus, how's it been? Well, one of my alternate universe children went insane and accidentally created a split timeline. And so I, I... They were very cool people in that split timeline, so I decided to save their lives. Bunnery! You know what we have to do. I don't care if they're male. A lop honey will do. Don't you dare kill my bunnery. It will be mine. <laughs> Batman, I caught a little Pokemon, Batman. Oh, Joker. Uh, what is it, Joker? I, I, I caught a, a law punny, Batman. I caught a... No, no, Joker. No, don't do it. Uh, oh, it's impossible to aim when there's two Pokemon. That's bullshit. Wah, I have been discriminated against. You're going to kill my binary. Yeah. Yes, please endure. This is what we need. <laughs> there are no laws against the, ba the Pokemon, Batman. And I can do what I want. <laughs> That is a stupid move, like a stupid mechanic. Like, oh, there's too many Pokemon to catch a Pokemon. Then why would you even let them be it? How dare you? You fuck. <laughs> Name the Bunnery Chad for giggles. At this rate, I don't think we're going to get a chance. Well, he knows what he wants. Why do you keep aiming for the Bunnery, you stupid chancy? Cheryl, you are not making it out of these woods. I am going to feed you to Shia LaBeouf. I think Cheryl is like the very first partner to battle alongside the player character. You're free to correct me if I'm wrong. No, that would be Lucas. Lucas fought uh, alongside us against the Galaxy Grunts, but 
she's the first one to, like, actually wander with us. So it depends on your definition. All right, Nova, you are going to get extra experiencing because... Uh, I'm going to wander around until we get uh, another Bunnery and a uh, Bidu. Not Bidu, but actually, yes, is it Bidu? Double Bunnery! And I even have my choice. <laughs> nice speech. Say goodbye to your legs. Basically. Obviously, he's frustrated that he will not be chosen. All right, we shall get rid of you. Because, of course... Sorry, Chad, you must die. For the memes. Now? Game. Game game. I'm using my great ball for this. Get in the ball, please. I give you a great ball. It's great value. Thank you. Bonaire's data was sent to the Pokedex. Its ears are always rolled up. They can be forcefully extended to shatter even a large boulder. They will fuck you up. Now, what name shall we give you? Hmm. Trying to think. Hmm. <laughs> Chatterissa. No, I don't think so. Funny callback, though. A part of me wants to name her Charm after Team Charm from... Yeah, I think I'll do that. Charm after Team Charm from Explorers of Sky. It's the sentimental value behind it. And now I'm going to look for a Badoo. But first we'll come up here and fight. I think you should, since we have her to help us through this. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are shit. We just had on a power walk. I'm going to shove your legs inside your eyes. Why is that Pachirisu so strong? Please don't use an electricity attack on me. You are gonna do it, aren't you? Are you dead, Pippin? You somehow survived. Good for you. How did you fucking miss? Why did String Shot hit both of us? Is he a silly? Is he a silly string bottle? You know what? It's been a while, Lancelot. Get out there and fuck some shit. Oh, wait, I forgot. You're also water type. And you hit Chansey anyway. What? <laughs> I thought that you'd be like, type advantage. Why did you not? What? <laughs> You were you, uh, you were you almost killed Pippin and you decided to cease. Huh. I I I don't know. I don't really care about Wormpole too much. I'm not scared of him. I wonder how much damage that'll do. A decent amount. I should, I'm a dumb. I'm a double dumb. I'm a triple dumb. My brain is all over the place. I 
I guess I could try and get rid of the Wormpult, but then I <laughs> may very well just introduce even stronger enemy. And then I don't think Steel would do too good, so I guess we'll just have to do Pound. Why are the Pachirisus all super strong? Fine, we will get rid of the Wurmple. All the Pachirisus here are nightmare monsters. Oh hey, a level up for Lancelot. Neat. I don't think I'm that scared of a beautiful eye. Save my Lancelot. Then we'll nuke the beautiful eye and work on annihilating that Pachirisu. Do 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 do. Of course you get a critical hit. Why are you super paralyzed? Seriously. Get rid of that beautiful fly. Kill. Kill him now. <laughs> oh, look, it's the tournament winner. I don't even know what that is. I've been stuck here. He didn't away of my soul. Kill that beautiful fly. It's Stalvia, you not dead. Yeah, sure, why not? I shall continue to heal Lancelot until you are dead. It's a matter of principle now. You must die. Someone a Pokemon World Tournament with a Pachirisu. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the memes that arose. And now we are paralyzed because of this stupid squirrel. You got fucking two critical hits on this fucking thing, you asshole. Yo, Chansey, could you heal me? Now we are back exactly where we are again. Why are you being smart now? You jerk and you're gonna... Okay, you're being a weirdo. Where's my critical hits game? Fine, you know what? We're gonna send out Larry, cause we can. Larry will save the day. And he will kill everyone. So you mean this one lady had only a Pachirisu, and the other guy had three Bug-type Pokémon? That is hilarious. Either that or she had one of them, but the game's working off of the double battle gym from Emerald as rules. Get confused, rat. I'm going to explode your pancakes with my mind. And by my... Uh, by your pancakes, I, I mean your ass. This Chansey is a god at surviving. Explode. You jerk. Don't ignore bug Pokemon, that really bugs me! Oh, you! No one will find your dead bodies, I swear to God. 
How, how dare you? You give me a paralyzed heal after all that. We shall try to kill as we look for a Bidu so we can get like maybe evolve a Rosalia or whatever they're called. Or to slowly whittle away at this Bidoof. Murder his murder her dreams of seeing the city. Growl all you want, you are still going to die here today, slowly drowning on land. While the Silcoon only hardens, because that is all that it can do. Hey good, you actually changed the ta uh, targets that time. Now we shall just quick attack you, I guess. And do nothing. Minimal damage. Honestly, I think we'll just run. You're probably not going to be worth much experience anyway. I just want a Badoo. I just want a Badoo. Ah, two Badoo! Very nice, and this will also give me somebody to give cut to or two, I think. And, and I got contact poisoned, how dare. I'm still, like, bothered by the game being like, oh, you can't catch a Pokemon if it's in a super bottle battle. It's like, why? Why is that a thing? Get a review then I guess and we'll catch the other one. In that case I probably should have done a quick attack against you. But then hmm, do we care about Swift? Because it's 60 power and never misses. Oh. Oh dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh wait, no. Don't give up. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, because Swift, 60, special. Physical, 40, goes first. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of Quick Attack. I guess. I don't mind it. Taking a shower in front of us while we're poisoned? How dare you? Knowing my luck, this won't work, but Pokeball, go! Don't break out or you'll die. I warned you, the chance he has no mercy. At least you're being kind of smart. But that like won't save you from another egg bomb and you're just making the chances of me catching you lower. Get in the ball, they won't save you from the chancy. The Gen Z will murder you if you do not. Good, good Badoo. <laughs> Sensitive to changing temperature, the bud is said to bloom when it feels the sun's warm touch. We shall give you a name. My brain says Zoro. You are Zoro now. Once we get out of this forest, we'll come grab you. <laughs> he lived Chansey's reign of terror. Ooh, this is some nice piano work here. Well, I'll uh, grind more guitar shredders. I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. 
when a trainer and a Pokemon bond as one, a wondrous power is born. It is called sex. I do not fear you at all. You probably have taught your Pokemon a move. Of course you did. It's the hidden power, you bastard. But I still don't really fear you that much. You are Abras. If you just keep hitting Chansey, you are never going to get anywhere. Of course, you go for that one now. Oh, it's a multi-hit move, Ab. Uh, special Swift Doodly D is mm, nice. You probably should have done a hard boil instead. Ah, you hit me this time. And you did a lot of damage. Die! Wow, could you miss? Fine, we'll swap somebody else in. I guess we'll swap Nova in, I guess. Again, how do you miss with bombs? Why do their hidden power do decent damage? They're frickin' Abras! And they only have one move! Finally, you killed one! Congratulations! Alright, Nova. Actually, quick attack this bitch to death. If he sur- <gasps> All of my critical hits are always when they were going to die anyway! Every last one of them! Endeavor. I think that only will... Well, let's take a look and read. What is Endeavor? Five moves, 100% accuracy, so it can fucking miss. An attack move that cuts down the foe's HP equal to the user's HP. So, basically, if you know you're gonna get absolutely destroyed, this is a suicide move. <laughs> that Chansey is going to hell, I swear. She's a terrorist, is what she is. Hmm, do I want Endeavor? It is basically a very niche move. But then again, I'm treating Double Team and Growl as also niche moves. Yeah. Hmm. Because under the right circumstances, I could try to throw Nova out use Endeavor against a very strong enemy and basically take them with me. Hmm. I guess I'll get rid of Growl, I suppose. Because if I'm actually worried about somebody doing a lot of damage, I guess Endeavor is better than Growl. It is I who has gone down and defeat Arm. Arm. Arm, Arm, indeed. Let's see. Rock smash against the Bunnery. Decent damage, I suppose. I, I already caught you, too. It would have been funny to have get, gotten this before I caught either of you, though. But like, of course the game is giving me the two and I can't catch even. <laughs> I still don't understand why the game is just like, hey, by the way, uh, you can't catch a Pokemon when there's multiple Pokemon on the field. I just think that's a silly rule. Of course you endured the hit. How dare you? Chansey. It is a bomb. Hm. 
huzzah for being back. Right now we are we are taking Cheryl through the forest. And her chancy is being a terrorist. We also caught two Pokemon, but they're not in our team just yet. We've caught Charm and Zoro. The question is, do we actually want to, like, swap characters out or not for something or other? We'll have to see. <laughs> Good, you're not at Gym 3 yet. We're not even at Gym 2 yet. We did do the, the Windmill Electricity Building, though. So we did do that. Hmm. I guess I'll throw Amp out just because... Actually, Larry. Let's give Larry a bit. Although it is kind of sad for Amp because Amp has been here like third longest. <laughs> Isn't this that a thousand pokey dollar diddly day? It's like, oh, it's an, ex it's an exclusive diddly day. That's why we've got to make it like this expensive. And then it's just found in the forest. I found a thousand dollars. Oh boy, where'd you find it? In the forest. <laughs> Larry, he had leveled up by killing a bug. <laughs> Larry can now make other Pokemon disabled. You know, that would actually be interesting. Considering the, vari the sheer variety of Pokemon in the Pokemon world, it would be interesting to see, like, how disabled Pokemon are accommodated. As well as it is mildly hilarious to imagine a Machamp in a wheelchair. <laughs> there are no cops in the forest. We take this to the graves. Basically. How do you deal with an obese Snorlax? Here comes the swarm! Oh great, it's it's Moses. My sense is tingling, I've spotted a rare Pokemon. My ass? Well, you're not that scary, I don't think. I will clarify, Gym 3 isn't that bad. Bring a normal type with a dark type move. I do have Buzel. He has a pursuit. Not exactly there. Maybe Charm can learn a bike or something. I beat Gym 3 and I'm waiting for you to catch up. Nah. Hopefully we'll at least beat Gym 2 by the end of the stream. Remember kids, anything's legal when the cops aren't around. I mean, kind of. I mean, just look at all the corporations. It's legal until you get caught. That's it. <laughs> My ass, okay. Now in the mommy voice. My ass. How dare you use protect. I'll kill you. At least protect, like, increasingly becomes failable. Like, the more you use it, so you can't just do that in a double battle forever. Blow up this bitch. You bastard! How dare you poison Amp's ass? How is she supposed to get a booty call now? Those little, like, pieces of trash or twigs coming out its front look like horrible, terrible, little grippy arms, and they hate it. This is just a weird double battle. Like, the hidden power Abras were kind of scary. That one Pachirisu that was just a god... He was scary. Ooh, wants to learn bite. Let's see what moves we want to forget. Hmm. 
because once again, I'm not really using Leer all that much, but at the same time, maybe it wouldn't be bad as like a suicide thing, but Charge. The user boosts the power of the next electric move it uses, but it didn't feel like it really did all that much, and it also raises the special defense stat, which is, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Basculin is my favorite mommy. And then it becomes Basculegion, a legion of mommies. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could get rid of Tackle, 35, 95, 60, 100. Hmm. Just on the sake of safety, we'll get rid of Tackle. I don't really... Hmm, but it's type neutral. Well, it's normal type, so... But at the same time... Ah, uh, we'll try it. I am a, I'm a bad tactician. Hilarious, considering I beat Fire Emblem... Uh, blah, 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 Awakening in which I was a tactician. Ah, great, a dust ox. Bite that dust ox into dust. Just cuz. It is a bomb! How do you continue missing? Hit the chancy, you bitch! Why you go after me? Hey, guess what, Super Potion? The random wild trainer's like, How dare you use a po super potion during battle? That is bad etiquette. There was a chance you right there. Why aren't you fighting it? I know that it keeps missing, so going after me is intelligent move, but how dare you? It feels like I'm being ganged up on when I'm having a bad time. See? You attack the chancy now because I called you out on it. Bitch. You come after here out of my ass? Just to do this shit to me? How dare you? And another one bites the dust ox. <laughs> Get egg bombed, bitch. Terrorism solves the day again. Just like in Coliseum. Remember, kids, in Pokemon, terrorism is the answer. Another one bites the burr me. <laughs> that does not work at all, but yet it does. Oh! God himself will not find your bodies. I am God's favorite child. You, you will not make it to heaven. A ghastly what? I mean, I guess maybe it wouldn't be terrible to catch you just in case. Well, why would you do that? Shit. Now you're gonna get egg bombed and you're gonna die. <laughs> a ghastly? Perry the ghastly! I mean, I guess I'll throw. If you find two shinies at once, rip. Oh, that would be mean of the game. That would be mean. Get in the ball, Perry! You son of a bitch! Perry! I am trying to save your life from the Pokemon poachers! I mean, you already died once! So this is just me trying to return the favor of my good old friend, Perry! Perry, please stop cursing my bisexual penguin. He doesn't really deserve it! Double shiny equals crash! If that's if that's actual, that would be terrifying. The game. This amount of luck is not possible. Born from gases, anyone could faint if engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison. Behold, Perry, my new invention! The Pulky Pollinator! Well, what do we call you? 
If only the Gengar from Rescue Team, like, actually had a name, I'd name you, name, name you after him. I mean, I guess I could call you Meanie. <laughs> Congratulations. You are having a terrible name in honoring of a <laughs> terrible great man. I should have called him Perry, you're right, damn it! I'm, I mean, it's too quick on the draw. Well, you see, he's without his hat right now, so he has to go by Meanie. But then, if he ever gets a hat, we can call him Perry. Saved it. Didn't actually, but shut up. Darn your, s darn your stream delay. Behold, Perry, my newest invention, the stream delayinator. My, my, my voice is just degraded on the Perry the Platypus scale. It is just degrading. You get the hat prop, then he we can refer to him as Perry. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now I'm imagining a Perry the Platypus joke, but it's like, Perry this, you filthy casual. But I don't know how to make it. Behold, Perry, my new invention, the gay anator! I will remove the bisexualism from this penguin! Now I'm imagining what it would actually be, and my mind is just jumping to him having a television with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure playing. Not only will it make you gay, it will also make you really into fashion. I think Eterna has the nickname guy, so if we want to, we can nickname him as well. Or re-nickname re him. <laughs> I think after this, we'll use one of our repels so that we can try to go a bit faster. With this, the aquatic bird shall become a gay con! <laughs> well, it doesn't fit as much as Bowser by con, but it still counts, right, Perry? No, oh, they're on a date, and we're here to murder them. Well, we do have the terrorist Chansey on our side. <laughs> terrorist Chansey says, down with the straights. <laughs> Why the hell did it count autocorrect at Bowser? <laughs> autocorrect assigned by icon for Bowser. Yeah, really, I'm just going to get rid of Bubble. Bubble is just bad. It is 20 power, and I'm probably never going to use it after Bubble Beam. I very much doubt I'm going to be in a situation where I run out of Bubble Beam, so bye-bye. He forgot how to bubble. Now he knows how to bubble a lot. <laughs> Let's see. We shall use Repel to try and walk around just a little bit more. Wait a minute, was it? Okay, yeah, this is... For a moment, I thought I was going insane. Then we'll fight these guys, because we can. A strange presence has been felt. It is emanating from you! This forest is strange, you know. It seems to fill me with energy. While I played Pokemon Emerald, I chose Trico in Grobile's Legacy. It was a female. <laughs> Ain't that just how it goes? That just means Grovile is a trans icon. Bubble Beam! 
If she's really your girl, why does she keep answering my riddles three? <laughs> but funnily, that's also the reason that I kind of chose Trico as my starter when I played Emerald. That as well as the fact that <laughs> it's a double reason. Because of Grovile from the anime, Grovile from Sky, which I slightly remembered, and then Shane the Trico from my Rescue Team playthrough. <laughs> Grovile is an icon. <laughs> I chose Trico because I like lizards. That's how it be sometimes. For some reason, that reminds me of, like, I think his name is Yoko Taro, the guy who is basically the figurehead of, uh, like, Nier Automata. And they're like, why'd you do this? Because I like girls. <laughs> Lizards do not like me, however. You just gotta find yourself an Argonian waifu. Find a big titty septile that will accept you. Oh no, my Metadite! Your victory, there is nothing strange about it. One time, Lizard puked on me. I'll be going, folks. Good luck, uh, good luck, Neon. Thank you very much. Hope that your night is good. <laughs> Makes the be gay, do crimes line make more sense. <laughs> A PMD randomizer quote. Together. Oh, <laughs> for a moment there, I was like, what the fuck? First time we step into the grass after repel, fight. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but remember, everybody, be gay, do crime, stay hydrated, kill God. And to go ahead and clear up any future confusion, my gecko's name, the pissy one, is named Lizard. That is funny to me. My cockatiel throws seeds at people he hates. He learned Bullet Seed. <laughs> Pokemon are real. You just absorb all you want. Why don't you absorb these nuts? Sorry, Wurmple. You're not that Wurmple from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, so today you are going to be food. We must kill the Badoo. You can't say it's unoriginal, since how many people have you met with geckos named Lizard? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Ash once used Bullet Seed to teach his Rowl at Bullet Seed. Leading by example, he did. <laughs> Wow, he actually leveled up really fast. Now my brain said a different kind of bullet seed. Because of course it did. While your Pokemon was at the daycare, I noticed it used a peculiar form of bullet seed. All these bugs must die. <laughs> Can't wait to teach my Palkia spatial rend with that method. <laughs> All you have to do is go up into, like, orbit and go faster around the planet as you approach the speed of light. Oh, wait, no, that's time. That's more bending time. Uh, All you need to do is find a black hole, <laughs> and then you can bend, bend space. Or maybe you just need, like, a mirror and curve it a little. Look, Palkia, I bent space! <laughs> That's the trainer after they, like, brought out, like, out of, from that one uh, event in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, where you bring Arceus to make, like, one of the creation trio as, like, a baby. And you're, like, trying to teach them their, your, their signature move. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I could never have been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Neon. This is my token of appreciation. Please accept it. A Suv Bell. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Gardevoir. Gardevoir makes black holes. 
That reminds me of that gif of Gardevoir making a black hole and Professor Oak goes flying in. I guess you could say Gardevoir sucked off Oak. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Spatial Wren looks more like Palkia shattering space. <laughs> sure, I would have to shatter reality itself. <laughs> I, not you. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. I'm sure we will. And then I will be forced to kill you. <laughs> that forest is way too big. <laughs> Gardevoir's teaches Spatial Ren to Palkia. Are you a bad enough bitch to teach Palkia awesome moves? <laughs> Your chancy is going to hell, man. She does not recognize it, for she is an accomplice. To sit back and fish casually, it's a grown-up's hobby. How about that? I've netted me a feisty trainer! He's gonna kill me. Never mind, I'm going to kill him. I'm gonna shove that Goldine's horn up your ass. Then again, I think you already do that. Are you just happy to see me, or is that a horn attack in your pocket? <laughs> Magikarp trainer awaits. We already faced the Magikarp trainer. His dad, well, he was just a small child. I let a big wind slip away. Yeah, he was just a small child. He said, my dad gave me a Pokemon. It was a level eight Magikarp. Nothing's biting. I could use a break, I suppose. Fisherman tends to eat their catches, so he's probably going to eat you. <laughs> Full team of six, but only Magikarp. Oh! This is just a waste of time, Billy. He should just send them all out at once. For however much dif difference it'll make. Welcome to the magical dancing Magikarp. That's all it knows how to do. That and I. I would laugh if, like, one of them was level 100. And you just hit it here, chipping away at a one level 100 Magikarp. It's not even really free experience. Most trainers are free experience. This guy, hardly even worth fighting, really. Because now this might give me, like, 80 experience, and it's level 16. At least it doesn't have a Z-Crystal attack. Apparently that splash goes crazy. Well, now my mind went to a very weird place. My mind was imagining the typical haha trainer sleeps with his Pokemon. And then it went, he's fucking like a Vaporeon. All his other Pokemon are watching and they're in the splash zone. I don't know why. You can get wild level 100 <laughs> Magikarp in black 2, white 2, and platinum. Also Scarlet and Violet, it's just very rare though. I mean, I guess fair, because there's not really much use to a level 100 Magikarp, unless you get, a like, a Water Stone, I guess. Really? This guy should just be wearing a Magikarp outfit to mock you further. Someone did a hunt for one and got multiple shiny Magikarp and Basculin trying to find it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, that didn't do anything for me. You used just Magikarp. You are a joke. Your existence is a joke. God is laughing at you. I fished up some tough Pokemon. Let's have ourselves a battle. Well, at least you have three. I'm going to strangle you with your own rod. You can find level 100 Magikarp in Black 2, White 2 in the Nature Preserve, which is unlocked after seeing every Pokemon in Unova. Or the, or the Unova Dex. I didn't finish reading. Because I'm a fool. 
We must kill the Goldeen. The two Goldeen we've seen have been male. That is not the horn it's using to attack us with. Also including a free shiny Haxorus for giggles. That seems like an odd choice, but okay. I, sh I fished up some strong Pokemon. Two of them are Magikarp. But are you like a third related to the guy back there? I've traded level 100 shiny Magikarp with Judgment, Spatial Rend, Roar of Time, and Protect. It is holding a Master Ball. I think it's hacked, but I'm not sure. Probably hacked. Or somebody with a weird sense of humor. Losing a kid has me gasping like a Magikarp. Actually, I think it has to be hacked because I don't think Magikarp can learn the signature moves of Arceus and... Uh, Palkia. Or Dialga. <laughs> like, that's the one true way. I think it'd, just, like, it'd be a very just weird thing to be legit. Because <laughs> I do remember, like, a lot of people saying that, like, the online trading of, like, modern Pokemon games is plagued with the hacked mons just all over the place. Give me that Orin Berry. Too bad it's weak as shit and can't heal 100 HP like it can in the actual... The, the actual Pokemon games. You know, the ones that don't really have that many humans in them. That's how you know it's a real Pokemon game. Come on, find me, Pokemon. Find me, Pokemon. Hello? 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 I know where you live by how the brightness just changed. Ah. But apparently no, that... That super Magikarp is apparently legit. Magikarp naturally knows the signature moves of a little god of Pokemon at level 59. I doubt that. But at the same time, would be hilarious if true, purely because it would be kind of funny. It feels great riding a bike with the wind in your face, doesn't it? Hey, you. Yeah, you, trainer. Uh, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I won't take, um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon, okay? I should throw him into the water. I should murder him. Hello. Heal my Pokemon so I might murder gods. Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's too. Something should be done, but Team Galactic creeps everyone out. What are they doing to my Pokemon? Well, depending... ...on everything. First things first, definitely you. Hmm. And withdraw. Hmm. For typing, I should probably bring Badu, but I want my charm. Hmm. The out of like tune music is weird. Let me see. Who else can learn strong or not strong but rock smash? Charm is able, so looks like Pippin might be replaced early. Pound defense curl foresight enables the user to hit a ghost type with any type of move. It also enables the user to hit an evasive foe. Endure. The user endures any Attack, leaving 1 HP. Its chance of failing rises if it's used in succession. I don't really see much use to Endure. Like... I don't really see much use to Endure. No, I don't. <laughs> the Azure Flute is too complicated. Evolving in K. Slash all creamy. What about that one Yamask... Evolution? Where you need to take, like, 21 points of damage and then walk under a certain place in the game. 
Sorry, Pippin, but it looks like you're going to be deposited into data. Say hi to Porygon for me, I guess. And come on, Zoro! Now we have a full team of that I want to use. But it does mean that I'll need to probably do some grinding. Probably. Hi, you cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? This Poke Chap will show you how close you feel of your Pokemon. Now I will know how into me my Bunary is. The Friendship Checker app identifies the Pokemon that like you. But if a Pokemon faints, it just means it doesn't have the power to battle, but it can still use hidden moves outside of battle. Let's see. Oh, they took away my sketch. Not sure what this even does. There is one Pokemon that evolves by taking a lot of damage without fainting and then leveling up. Because these games are sane. My friend said Team Galactic took his favorite Pokemon away. I don't think he's telling the truth. Team Galactic looks cool. They don't look like common thugs. I'm going to punch your face. Aterno's city is not anything like it was before way back in the day. They say this is an old city. It doesn't look like it, though. Not of all these tall buildings. Since the Team Galactic building went up, the city's atmosphere has gotten all creepy and tense. I don't know what those people are doing in that place. <laughs> yeah, but, but Azure Flute is too complex. Because this world is crazy. I don't need escape rope. I have teleport. The more gym badges you have, the better they treat you at Pokemarts. You get to buy a better selection of merchandise, you see. But I don't have a single gym badge. It's because Gardenia is too much. Uh, I don't want to see another grass Pokemon ever again. If only I had a flying-type Pokemon, then my losing streak would end. Hey, Nova, you're gonna be fucking shit up here soon. Nova is about to get all the bitches. Probably check out the buildings up here. Like, what's you? Radrick Tall Cycle Shop. Get on and ride. Like a law punny, or? The man just gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. A law punny, probably. Get the Cynthia egg. I don't know what the Cynthia egg is. We are going across all the buildings, I guess. Under <laughs> underground man's house going down for adventure. Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so stinking rich that we can have one built instantly. I think that's just shoddy craftsmanship. Let's dig up some treasure. And from Oraberg, I work at the Mighty Museum there. I got advice from the underground man on digging treasure and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may encounter dark rocks. They are very hard. If you keep hitting them, they will collapse. Don't forget that. And you'll be digging up treasure in no time. I am. I am the first to have gone underground and dug some fossils. You can call me the Underground Man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. I am now an explorer. I can kill gods. My gift to you, the Explore Kit, will instantly take you underground. You need only use it, and you'll be down in the tunnels. The underground is a different world where you can do this, that, and other thing too. Let me mentor you into becoming a full-fledged spelunker. Will you take on the challenge? Sure. Mm, well said, my young friend. I will teach you by assigning missions. First, go underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your Explore Kit. If you accomplish that, I will give you your next task. The underground tunnels go everywhere. Grab your friends and let's play together using DS wireless communications. I have no friends. All I ever on Earth are armor fossils. My buddy only digs up skull fossils. I wonder why that happens. It doesn't matter, though. I can just swap with them with my buddy. I simply let a Pokemon hold an armor fossil and trade it to him. The shelves are gemmed with colorful Pokemon goods. New one on sale. Underground radar. The upper radar screen indicates possible treasure locations. The lower touch radar indicates precise locations. Shortcut to the underground is on the screen. Which heading would you like to read? I guess spheres? 
In the underground tunnels, you can dig up pretty stones that are called spheres. They are uh, people in the underground that treat spheres like money. Trade them near spheres in exchange for decoration goods and other items. These spheres also have strange property for growing if they are buried in the ground. Which heading would you like to read? <laughs> Different game version. Yeah, it's what I probably thought. <laughs> Neon, there's a time and a place for everything, but not now. But this is the underground man's house. He wants me to dig. Diggy, diggy hole. I guess let's try it, I guess. Aw, oh, that probably won't work then. I guess, sure. <laughs> let's see if it works. It probably won't. Ah, oh, saving a lot of data. We'll be here forever. Remember to stay hydrated. I am a dwarf, and I'm digging a hole. I forget how the actual song goes properly, tune-wise. It's been a long time since I heard it. Hey, Neon! Is this maybe your first time here? Welcome to Sinnoh's Underground. Uh, where is this, you ask? Doesn't the radar make it obvious? This is a giant underground network of passages underneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing in this expanse of a place? That's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up treasure. I should probably swap since we're down here. Bop, ba. And make a secret base. You can play with your friend down here, too. You should talk to the underground man in Eterna. I, I have to get going. I'll see you around. That bitch can fly. Nowhere to go. Oh, I think I. Oh, that's how that works. I see you, you little bitch. Come to me. Let's try and work it. Something ping. The wall confirmed three. Oh, there's a note tucked inside the explore kit. Digging for treasure and spheres. I put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explore kit. Use them and you'll be able to touch uh, walls to dig out all sorts of stuff. I'm sure you can dig them out before the wall comes crumbling down. You can do it. Good luck, youngster. Aha! Come to me. It's at three. The wall collapsed. You, know, you need to know fly to leave. I don't believe that. I got an orb, though. Which for trainer battle theme is better? <laughs> uh, neon, uh, diamond, pearl, platinum. I don't... Hmm. Because it's been a bit since I've, like, actually heard, heard the music, but I really do enjoy the music from Legend Arceus. Hmm. Two in this wall. Found yet. Nothing burger. I got one red ruby. A size 14. This is an interesting, like, little mini game going on here. This will be the last one, and then we'll exit. But yeah, for me, like, music is odd where I need, like, hearing it in the moment. It's the only way that my brain really functions well. Don't know what that is. Dang it. Aha, there you are. 
Everything was dug up. A size 19 and yellow shot. Max size is 99. That sounds like overkill. I guess let's go up. Interesting. <laughs> Not sure how often I'll go down there. But there could be cool things. Oh, we can't enter there because we don't... Hello, Barry. Hey, Neon! You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there! I did not, actually. <laughs> something, something, that's what she said. Oh, it's Dialga! What the... And it's Cyrus. What voice did I give you? So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time, and space. And an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth. Its truth needs investigation. Pardon me. Stand aside. He didn't recognize us. Why can't I just steal those bikes? Oh, hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer? Yeah, that. All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you'll never lose. You'd be the invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out that Pokemon statue. See you around. Especially because you lose the whole thing if you sell it. They say this is an awesome Pokemon that people saw long ago. It's Eterna City's Pokemon statue. There seems to have been a descriptive plate, but it appears torn off. What a bitch. They should have engraved it into the schlong. No one would have taken it then. Or they would have taken it even faster, either or. Hey, you there, kid. Stay away from that Pokemon statue. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation there. I'm going to punch your face. <laughs> With Dialga's schlong. Eterna came to be long ago in honor of ancient Pokemon. Though many things have changed, which is not... Important is not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. Sheesh, what's the world coming to? Someone ripped off the descriptive plate from the Pokemon statue. Now, no one can read the inscription. Why would someone do that? I actually want to know what it said. The first inscription went something like this, sort of. Creation of Daya, giver of time. In laughter there is tears, and likewise, the same time flows the blessing of Daya... Yikes, I've forgotten big chunks of it. Want to hear the other description? The second description was sort of like this. Birth of Pal, creator of parallel dimensions, alive yet not alive, rips in space, to arrive in the same universe, uh, universe, the blessing of Pal. I have heard some people talk about there as once being a third inscription. I'm kind of skeptical, though. I mean, think about it. A third Pokemon alongside those that control sp time and space? There couldn't possibly be a Pokemon that mighty. Have you seen the Pokemon statue when I was a wee child? It used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. <laughs> the smooth jazz of this place. Uh, I guess the herb shop, I don't care. You'll, you'll make my Pokemon hate me. I hear, I hear the piano. Oh, that device you have. It's a Pokedex. Wow. It brings some back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello, Neon. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name's Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it when you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. HM1? What is it? Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It'll let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Ah, uh, here's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. No, it's P. Dala. Let me get closer. P. Dala Kliga. A fusion of Palkia and Dialga. 
a fusion of legendary monsters. It'll be terrifying. If you're visiting a tourney, you need to get yourself a bicycle and take a ride down the cycling road. Going underground if the Explorer Kid is a blast, isn't it? Are you a terrorist? Like, like Cheryl? Well, nobody lives here. I guess you, I wonder what you're saying. Hi, I'm Gardenia, and this town's gym leader. My last challenge was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was Barry. He told me about you. He said that another challenge was on the way, so that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. Sure thing. I guess first I'll go... I guess check out... I assume this will be... Attorney Condominiums. Name rating services available. There. Wait a minute. I wonder where... Like, Diddly D Tower is, then. Because they said they built a big old tower. Is it all the way to the right past the statue? Oh no, I need to beat you. I need to beat Gardenia to cut into Baba da Buff. But first, let's check the com. Become the Minominids. The Hell World. I'm the official name rater. You want me to rate the na names of your Pokemon? Nah, you're just here for like renaming, I believe. Excuse me, but do you. Uh, got that Pokemon named Buzzle? Want to change it for my chat up? No, you do not get Pippin. Pippin is mine! Even if I'm not going to use him much. Hi, the building superintendent. I maintain a vigilant 24 hour watch. You have to sleep sometime, bitch. Argus had to sleep sometime and he died. Gardenia, our local gym leader, goes out to a turn of forest every so often. I always wonder what she does there. Hunts for murder. The move recycle is to be used during battle. When you use recycle, a Pokemon can use its item once again. Your Pokemon can murder five times. Why did the bottom screen Oh! I forgot, because we were in the we were in the down place. We were in the blah blah blah. Since we were down in the underground, I put the bottom screen as the bigger one. Because that's where the focus was, and then I forgot to return it. <laughs> Badges from gyms or contest wins, there's more than just one way to be a winner. It seems here's uh here's hoping you'll find something in which you can be the victor. I gathered up a lot of berries, so I'm trading them for accessories. Next stop, Heart Home City. I'm taking the contest challenge. Haha, <laughs> I've got you now, I'm gonna take your flag. Maybe if I stop the child, he will get him. You can't catch me, I set some traps. Bum, bum, bum. Well, I guess we shall go and see if we're fit for Gardenia. Let us see if we are ready to die. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in earlier, too. The gym leader Gardenia is a user of grass type Pokemon. It should be obvious, but grass type B Pokemon really hate fire. They're also at a huge disadvantage against the flying type, too. Oh, wait a second, I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can't challenge the gym leader until you beat all the gym's trainers. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as good training and go for it. That's what I always do. Welcome, without further ado, let's go. More than likely, I'll have to swap out to let Charm get some experience. But that's why I have Nova. Nova's gonna murder ya. How dare you leech seed me. I won't save you for long when I wing attack you. <laughs> Die. You don't get to survive, little Chirubi. And a level up for Nova. Nova is going to get chunk off of this. Throw in charm so she can get more swap experience. Mm 
and then hopefully sometime, Charm will be able to fight for her own. <laughs> Make it crunk. If we mash up this Rosalia, we'll be able to get some fine juice. Wing attack! Kill that Rosalia! Good job, Charm. <laughs> the clock will turn now. Oh. You mean, what do you mean the clock will turn? The gym's floral clock, you can walk on its hands. That's how you get to the next trainer. Ah, good. So it's not, like, actually a puzzle. Not really. Imagine if you actually had to, like, walk on this thing. In tune to time. That would be evil. Hmm. I guess I can go heal between you. Between you all. It would be mean if you actually had to fight them all in one go. Like a gym, you have to fight all ten of us trainers at the same time. The clock better not reset. Then again, if that is, if it does reset, that's just infinite trainer training. Which wouldn't be terrible, I guess. Nova would just get unbelievably strong, and then Zoro, uh, Zoro and Charm would also get super strong as well. And it didn't reset. My Grass-type Pokémon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. I'm going to murder you. God will not hear your cry. Let's see how much damage you do. You are a bitch. How dare you stun spore my beloved charm? Hmm, but maybe can do decent damage, maybe. If, if charm can take down one enemy on her own, it'd be very impressive. Your Badoo is just sitting there. Like a little shit. Let me guess, this time I'm going to get stunned, like paralyzed, and I'll be forced to swap anyway. Ah, that's what I thought. Paralyze is evil. It should be a war crime. Come on, get a critical hit! Oh, that would have been hilarious. Now watch, he's going to get the critical hit because the game is evil. I swear, my enemies get a lot more critical hits than I do. And Charm did it. A decent chunk of experience. We'll keep Charm out so we can swap. Let's see. Let's send out Larry. He could use some experience as well. I do think that Gardenia probably has, like, level 22, 23 mons up there, probably. Hopefully Nova will be able to carry us. And depending on the grass types, we also have Larry to help carry us a little bit. Larry will kill his foes with the power of Spoon. I forgot to swap. Darn it. Be gone, Satan. The more beautiful flower, the faster it withers. Every time you beat a trainer, the floor clock moves. The fountain also stops if I lose. And so you can go to the Pokemon Center during the challenge, which is very nice of you. Larry spoons his enemies to death. 
he is a very violent mon. It's possible to walk across the fountain now. With a big enough balls, you'd be able to do that anyway. I wonder why that exists. Probably just get people to come over there to be like, What's this? What's this? What's this? What the absolute fuck? And of course we're gonna go heal, just in case. Because we love our dear little charm. Someday she's gonna be dragged into the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world and she's going to kick some ass. And get absorbed by a Registeel, but that's only temporary. Now that makes me wonder if, like, you play through, like, a normal Pokemon game, and then all your Pokemon then become, like, a guild. I don't know the exact specifics and logistics of that, but that's how it works. I'm here to fight you to death. You can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of my Pokemon. Again, is that your kink? Kick names, take ass. Sorry, Charm, you are not fighting her. Now, Larry, kill that bitch. You think Ben Shapiro is canon to the Pokeverse? Arceus was smart and threw him to hell. Ben Shapiro only exists in any universe to suffer for the amusement of good people. You can stun him all you want. The only muscle he needs is his brain. Larry will kill you, dear little plant. Larry, come on. Charm was frickin' paralyzed for like five turns and only got paralyzed once. You've, you're, you've been paralyzed for five seconds. Goodbye, Rosalia. To hell you go. Good job, Charm. Hmm, frustration. Let's take a look at that move. I don't think I'll use it, but still. A full power attack that grows more powerful the less the user likes its trainer. We're not doing that. The entire point is to give, make it so that you like me. And a level up for Larry. Huzzah! Just like your inability to conceal your abundant skill. For a moment there, I thought you were going to roast me. Yep. It flows. There's only our gym leader left. Go on. Don't be afraid. You paralyzed my children. I must now kill you. We will now go heal. We will return. And then we will annihilate Gardenia. Hopefully. Because we have Larry... And as well as Nova, who should be able to deal with grass types and grass poison types decently. And then we also have Amp, who should be able to at least kind of fight grass types on an even playing field. Meanwhile, uh, Charm and Zoro are just not built for... Excuse me. Charm and Zoro are not built to be fighting right now. They are in the leveling phase of their internship. And, uh, unfortunately, Lancelot is not strong enough to beat them down. Maybe Metal Claw could do something, but more than likely, he'd just get annihilated. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we need to sell that. It can be sold. We also need to sell that. An item held by Pokemon is a Bell of Comfort each time, uh, that calms older and makes it friendly. I guess I'll give that to Charm. Here you go. Like me better. I guess we'll come here to sell the Stardust and the Big Pearl, because I don't see much use for them. I want to sell you shit. Sure. I can sell the literal dust of stars and get three netballs. Or no, one netball. I was thinking of, like, the f fact, like, oh, Big Pearl is, like, three netballs. But no, the Stardust is one netball. All right, let's go fight Gardenia. 
And yep, we'll keep swap doing it. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. How dare you tempt me? I want a Riyalu really bad. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. That intro is nice. And now I shall kill you. Ah, you have a Turtwig. Hmm. I believe this is a job for Nova. Intimidate that little Turtwig. Reflect all you want. You are still going to die. That must have really raised your defense. Ha <laughs> ha! Avoid it, bitch! You sunny day all that you like, you will still falter and fall! <laughs> Our always his brother. Well, I can't really complain, considering I have used a lot of super potions up by now. But you do understand that this is just going to put you directly back where you from whence you came. Unless I get lucky and you die right now. I avoid it again! Nova is doing the god's work! Nova is that bad bitch! She's here to fuck your day! And get thick thighs! And he didn't even give us that much experience. What a little bitch. You are a level 20, motherfucker! Oh, but I'm just a little, little first evolution, motherfucker. I'm going to turn you into firewood. Oh, that's why they did that. Hmm. Let's give Larry some fun. Larry, try to annihilate this cherub. How dare you leech seed! If the sunlight faded, shouldn't you go back to being a, a little shy, yes, you, a little shy little bitch? Get confused, idiot! Not super effective, but respectable damage. What does Safeguard do? Became cloaked in a mystical veil, huh? Blast it with more confusion. Blow up its pancakes with mine. Well, that's just not very nice. A grass knot. Larry, get out of there. I probably shouldn't have sent you in. We'll try Metal Claw for funsies. Oh, actually, Peck. Oh, well, that's probably going to kill you. But if you go first, you literally have Quick Claw, Lancelot. How could you do this to me? You had a Quick Claw. You could have killed him if you were faster. I guess I'll send an Amp instead. Munch on it. Why does it keep going first? It's a little plant. It's supposed to be stationary. And why that do like a bunch of damage? You are very bothersome. Please die. Hmm. No, not Pokeballs. Restore. Super Potion restores 50. Hmm. See, so it's probably just best to bring out Nova and 
just annihilate you before you do anything. How dare you have so much striking power. That's not going to help you too much, you know. Wing attack. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. The evasion of my bird is beyond the power of gods. I was willing to play nice, and you just had to be a hard ass. More power leveling. We'll send in Zoro so he can get some swap experience. And hopefully, Nova can make you suffer for what you've done. It's not the end yet. Oh, but it is. Little Gardenia. You will be obliterated by the power of a god! Poison sting all you want. It won't help you in the long run. Wing attack! Of course you get to go first and all the evasion has stops happening. That did a lot of damage for some reason. How dare you! Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? Hmm. The problem is... She'll probably go first and hit me. Actually, idea. I can probably lame you out. If Nova evades enough, then I'll be able to tank an attack and kill you. How does that sound fun? <laughs> Save the above in mommy voice. 39 buried, zero found. Let me calculate quickly. Hmm. Actually, I think this will be enough! Unless you get a crit now, like a bitch. Kill. I didn't even need that super potion. I should have took that into account. Goodbye, Gardenia! You only got as far as you did because I was playing around, trying to spread the love. Ooh, Mega Drain. Let's see what moves you can forget. I am never using Water Sport. I am never gonna use it. I just, I'm never gonna use it. I never am. Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? Now give me your lunch money. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. The forest badge, I have received it from Gardenia. With the forest badge, your Pokemon can use the hidden move cut outside of battle. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon received in trades will pay you up to level 30. I've also got something else. It's a gift from me. It's the severed head of God. Grass Knot. It's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage the move will cause. Meanwhile, my brain can just go, Oh. So grass types have knots, do they? YouTube crashed. <laughs> Nova survived the poisoning. That's a thing that can happen? Poisoning can just go away randomly? That's cool. But yeah, YouTube is weird sometimes. It'll just die. <laughs> Poison moment. Poison cannot stand the power of Nova. That just goes to show that Nova is a god of Gardenia. Now I need to put 
Well, first things first, save. And then we will give cut to somebody. And then I think we'll end the stream. That way we can begin by attacking their HQ, presumably. Yep, Team Galactic Eterna building. We want your Pokemon. Yeah, we'll go attack them next time. And everything will be very nice. Necrozma used Heavenly Scorching Light of Mass Destruction. Gotta be toughened it out so you wouldn't feel bad. Basically, yeah. But yeah, once again, just having a lot of fun with Pokemon. A lot, a lot of fun. We'll probably have to begin with a bit of, like, try to find a good grind. But then again, I fight the Galactic and try to grind up Zoro and Charm and everybody. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I almost fro double forgot. Let's give a cut to somebody before I forget. Let's see. Zoro, you shall learn cut. We'll try to spread the HMs ever so slightly. Absorb, growth. The user's bo uh, body is forced to grow all at once. It raises special attack. Mega Drain. I think, honestly, growth. I'm never going to use that, I don't think. Heh. <laughs> Killing another planet on Monday. <laughs> I'm moving to the void because I hate every planet. I can't believe you hate Captain Planet after everything he did, like against that power ring that's gone forever. But yeah, next time, we will be streaming on Monday, once again, at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we will open up by attacking this... Eterna HQ of Team Galactic, and then try to do some grinding to bring Zoro and Charm up to snuff. <laughs> Is Captain Planet stole your wife? I can't believe Captain Planet stole your Salazzle. But, yeah, I think that will be it. We did a decent bit, went all around a bit, got some new team members. <laughs> Monday at 5, I will move with you. Now you can't find me. I am hidden from the world. <laughs> he stole my Basculin. He stole your Dommy Mommy voiced Basculin. How the bastard. But, yeah, this time we got a second badge, went through a lot. We discovered going underground. Not really sure how much I'm going to use that. <laughs> I guess try maybe try to find some fossils. I don't know. But, yeah, next time we will fight more Team Galactic. Come to think of it, we've only fought Team Galactic starting now. So that's kind of funny. But, yeah. For other things that I am doing, you can look through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, as it holds everything that I do. Edited content, YouTube videos, streaming on YouTube or Twitch, the re-uploads of all these streams for posterity on my streaming YouTube channel, the stories that I write, the art that I draw, and even my Patreon if you want to feel kind, doing a little, little bit of money throwing my way. All those things can be found in my link tree, which is found in link places, descriptions, and bios of all the different kinds of websites. But yes, I'm trying to draw more, trying to write more, trying to do just a lot of everything. I'm trying to do more. <laughs> so if you want to see me do more, follow me on all over the place, and you'll see me do all the more. I bought the life-size Lucario. Finally something my 5'4 ass can look down on. <laughs> Congratulations, you have uh, you have bought a friend. <laughs> I'd say he'll probably reach to your height. That Lucario plushie, it is giant. It is here. <laughs> it will protect you from everything, including yourself. But, yes. I do believe that that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. In the end, everybody, be you, be true, but, and also be happy, but most importantly, be kind. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye. <laughs>